we have Night Fate Bloodlusted Raids. Perma Bloodlusted Raids. With Mages and Double Bloodlust. <laughs> with 15% damage from Paladins. Like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Like, what if that happens? Oh, God. <laughs> I, I would... I, oh. And Wind Fury. Uh, Wind Fury's not going to be the thing, I don't think. But, I don't know, man. Pretty, pretty scary. Pretty scary. Plus, Warrior Banners. <sighs> The, I, I imagine the amount of math involved. Excuse me. This is why my brain's on fire. There are so many stacked party combos right now. Like, the synergies of stacked party combos are off the charts. I don't feel good for Alex right now. I'm honestly so excited to see how dumb the world first race is going to be that I really hope I'm casting it. Because I just want to see the amount of effort and coordination that will go in. If things stay even remotely similar to where they are. To picking a raid group. <sighs> Whew. Where are we going? I think we're going to Boulder, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to Boulder City. Let's go to Boulder City. I might not cast it. I never assume I'm going to cast it. Never, never assume, man. I don't know, dude. Never assume. I never assume. Careful. They got spies all over. Fuck assumption, man. Who knows what the I don't I look, I'll be honest with you guys. I never know what the world first race will look like. I mean, you know my dream is that we have everybody there. Probably not gonna happen, but I want Max on my left, I want fucking Sko on my right. I want fucking pieces there. I want all the guilds there. You know what I mean? I want them all there. All the contenders. I want the fucking boys. I want stars there. I absolutely wish China was there. I want a global release. I want the whole fucking business. I want it to be like the Super Bowl of raiding. I want to cast that. I want to cast that. That has always been what I've wanted. I want to cast all the fucking guys. I want to be speaking to that production office like I do when I'm on that fucking couch. I want to be like, show me limit. Alright, switch over to fucking Midwinter. Switch over to Aversion. Switch over to fucking Method. Let's, and I want them on the same boss, man. That's the fucking dream. Can you imagine? Like, last boss is a beast. Denathrius, whatever the fuck he's called. Is a monster. And we're able to swap between all those guilds. <sighs> Oh no! Terrorism! Oh shit, these guys are not remotely Eat fucking this. around. Ooh, I'm dead. Oh, fuck Una. No, I don't want a 700 pull boss. 700 pull boss can kiss my ass. <laughs> 700 pull bosses are a no no for me, dude. Uh, we might need to switch to a, a somewhat. Oh, that is kind of our best gun. 700 pull bosses as a caster is actual nightmare fuel. I don't know how I got through casting the level 60 race. I did it. I was there. I can't remember a single moment of it other than turning up and when it finished. Like, whew. That was a day. Or a week. Or however long I did that for. <laughs> however long I did that for. That was a, that was a, a whole thing. God damn. <clears throat> Uh, I probably do have AP bullets. Doesn't that mean AP? You know where it says it in the bottom right? Doesn't that mean I'm using AP bullets? Oh, those are action points. Uh, I guess I don't have armor piercing bullets then. I'm, I'm pressing the swap ammo button and nothing's happening, so... I'm kind of reliant on my friends here. Oh, ambush! We ambushed them. Good job, everybody. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm so dead. This is horrible.
These assassins' armor is actually wacky. I'm just trying to outheal this at this point. Jesus Christ, man. These guys are actually like turbo horrific. We need to hide. Uh, we need a better gun. This gun is not doing it for us. I wonder about uh, this gun. This is better. Nope. <laughs> oh, did they kill my boys? I bet they did. I think they killed my boys. Oh, there's more of them. Yikers. Uh, okay. We need better stuff. Uh, we could use some jet or something. Yeah, this this party is uh, a beast. Mm, maybe we just blow them up. I have one shot. One chance. Good morning, the beautiful Zoe. How are you doing, Zoe? She's got legs like thunder, boys. Stay sharp. She'll crush you. She's all over it. They call themselves the Legion and they actually wear armor themed and Roman Legion of old. And sportswear. Alright. And sportswear. Frazzy! Welcome, Mr. Frazzy. How you doing, buddy? <clears throat> yeah, these guys are actually hardcore. I would give anything for a legit... I can share this month's workout with you for the same thighs. Uh, is it the same as my workout, though, which has been every gym's closed? <laughs> and you don't realize how much you kind of rely on the gym to provide nice, some nice equipment. All right. I think that did do something. I'm going to die. I think we did well there. Let's try the 9 mil. Eat this. All right, the 9 mil seems more effective. And we're out of ammo. Well, yep. <laughs> That'll happen. That'll happen. Right, I'm going to try to throw a grenade in there. Whoa! Imagine not even caring that I'm shooting at <laughs> That is an EMP indeed. I think we won. Kind of want to. Uh, I kind of want to wear the Centurion helmet. Not gonna lie. Yep. Now we're now we're sharp. I don't want to wear the full outfit. Oh, we're over in cupboard already? Damn, this shit is heavy. Edie. <laughs> this shit is heavy. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's called... There we go. There we go. Alright, we're just trying to go to a town. Let's save. Let's save. <clears throat> they had some amazing weapons on them. Are they armor piercing? What do they have? Machetes. I see some machetes. Son of shotgun. Super sledge. The gavel! They have gavels. Oh, and the throwing spears. Which are actually legit, apparently. Let's try throwing spear something. We can try a hunting rifle too. Alright, all right, we've done that base. We've, we've, we've provided power to the people. Which I'm happy about. Uh, 
Uh, should we give... Uh, a, uh, can Edie only use Edie's Zap Zap machine? I guess so. What food are we going to discuss today? None. I've been good. I've been good. I've been very good. He has melee. Can we give him a super sledge? I mean, I have to see this, right? Can I give him a gavel? <laughs> I, want, I want to see Eddie using a gavel. Uh, I feel like we've already robbed this place. Maybe not. You've been on a curry kick? I miss Italian food so much, man. I would do so much for prawns. I would do so much for prawns. Yeah, we've been over here. I remember this place. I would do some filthy shit for some nice prawns, man. Yeah, it's been a lot of chicken. We had pork yesterday. Pork is easily the worst meat. Right, there's, there's actually no competition. Right, there's somebody over here. Pork is so boring. Like, pork with applesauce? Sure. But you feel like a baby. Right. Ready? Look at this. Whoa! Oh, it one shot it, lol. <laughs> what a hurl. Alright, let's see if we can hurl it from afar. Here we go. Whoa! Look at that. Do I get it back? Ah, oh, I don't get it back. That's unfortunate. I'm wrong? Really? You guys big porkers, eh? I got you. It's like ammo. How is a spear like ammo? Imagine. It's not an RPG. Herbing. There we go. I love... Lamb is my favorite meat. Cleftico. Greek Cleftico. Yes, dude. Yes. All day. Every day. I haven't had it in about four years. This game can't be an RPG. It's letting me choose different weapons depending on what I prefer to play with at the time. <laughs> Shit RPG, honestly. Where's the meaningful choice in? Can I get a meaningful choice from this? It allows me to spec into any talents that I want or feel I need at the time. Fucking bollocks, this game. All I want is a good RPG. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The Brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. Good solid RPG limits your choices. <laughs> I want to choose only snipers. It's my problem if I decide to go into a close quarters combat situation using a sniper rifle. That's the weighty decision that I make. <laughs> yeah, Cyberpunk delayed again. I'm totally fine with it. I'm totally fine with it. They say it's not ready? It's not ready. All right, what's going on with the Khans? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the Great Khans. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the Khans into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The Khans have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Who are you? Is that CR? They love me. The Great Khans might have something of mine, a platinum chip. Yeah. Once the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. And negotiate with criminals? What are you going to do about the hostages? I don't know about negotiating. 
Acceptable casualties, I've been told. I don't like it, but the brass has their reasons. Sneaking or negotiating? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are my two choices. <laughs> I could negotiate a sneak. Uh... <laughs> Normally, I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. All right. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Khans. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. I understand. Good luck. No problem. The boldest city showdown. Alright. Alright, we've got some negotiating to do. Okay? I don't want any of you guys to laugh. We have to do some negotiating. <clears throat> I have weapons down! I am approaching with my weapons down. Fuck Ben. We'll make him pay for stabbing us in the back. Hope the NCR doesn't send reinforcements from the dam. Yeah. Okay. Everyone stay calm. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. I'm not, and I believe you have something of mine. I got better. <laughs> I got better? I'm a ghost here to haunt you. Ooh. <laughs> not quite. When I kill you, however, the job will get done right. No, 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 no. What we want to do here. Game plan. This is what I'm aiming for. I don't know if the game allows it. We're going to negotiate for the release of the hostages. They're going to get out safely. Then we're going to individually judge each great Khan and assess them for their rehabilitation potential. Yeah, uh, about that. Where's the platinum chip? Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. All right, let's see if we can sort this way, sort this out, eh? What's the negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. Free the hostages now, and I'll have the NCR escort you out of their territory. As a lawman, this is a difficult choice. What about surrendering? And face NCR justice? No thanks. I'd rather not spend the next ten years doing hard labor. Hmm. It's not a roll of the dice. If we say this, this will happen. But that's not the outcome I want. Although for the lives of the hostages, perhaps we have to take an L on this one and dispense some justice later. I doubt surrender is an option. Hmm. All right, we might have to do this. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. And okay. We got what we wanted. Right, we need... Uh, our science is still in the bin. But we do want lockpick 75. All right, we can get lockpick 75 right now. Let's get that. That puts us on hard lockpicks. Good. Uh, what should we get? We got some new ones? We did. All right. We got night person when the sun is down. Yeah, nerd rage. When you've been pushed around long enough with the nerd rage perk, your strength is raised to 10. You gain 15 damage threshold when your health drops. Mysterious stranger. You've gained your own personal guardian angel, armed with a fully loaded 44 Magnum. With this perk, the mysterious stranger will appear occasionally in VATS mode to lend a hand with deadly efficiency. That sounds fun. Should we take that? 
Oh, strong back, though. <clears throat> yeah, let's get Mysterious Stranger. It sounds fun. What's Misfortune? Uh, just when your enemies think you've had, you have the upper hand, Misfortune appears uh, to turn their world upside down. Appearing only in bats, she has the ability to snatch defeat from the jaw. Oh, Miss Misfortune sounds better. Let's get Misfortune. I like the sound of that. Alright, let's see if we can twist this around. They're separate pots. What's the RPPM on that? Can we get a weak aura? And so far, I've got to say, our choices, considering we took the ability to bang both men and women, our bang options have been severely limited. I'm glad you're able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Khans, hostages or not. The Great Khans let the hostages go in exchange for their own freedom. <clears throat> go for it, yeah, the criminals. You cut a deal with the Khans? Damn it. Attacking them now doesn't feel right, but orders are orders. Well, you know what it's like with criminals. Times are tough. <clears throat> I lied to criminals and kidnappers who had hostages. Sue me. Alright? <clears throat> Sue me. Think it's an honest world out here? Are they all dead? Evening. I mean, a part of me feels guilty. Like a small, small part. Very small. But, if you're going to take Hodges hostages, right? You're going to threaten the lives of innocents? Oh, there's a man at my door. <laughs> I, I honestly I feel Showing zero guilt. Javi almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Yeah, now the more I think about it, my guilt threshold is extremely low. Oh, we can repair that time mill. Gimme. Ted card, how you doing, buddy? Mr. Slacker McFly, welcome, dude. Welcome to Wasteland Justice. Oh! Well, missed some. I got it! Freeze! Chairman job offer. Ooh, bandana! Have a little rest. McMurphy. I said freeze. How am I losing karma? Yeah, I will investigate Boulder City. Don't you worry. Let's read what this job offer was. I thought you'd like to know that one of the chairman bigwigs from the tops is looking to hire Muscle for a job out by Good Springs. I don't, uh, I don't know what it's about, though. The details are all hush-hush. The pay seems too good to be true, but I figured I'd pass the info your way in case it's all on the level. Let me know, and I'll put you in contact with this Benny fellow. Okay, so no details. Fair. Fancy meeting you here, friend. This guy is getting fucking... He's making my pubes twitch. <laughs> He's really... <laughs> Chris, can we have a victory emote? Because <laughs> I have a feeling this isn't going to stop. I think we need a victory emote. <laughs> hey, Victor. 
Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. You see what happened in there? Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. Uh, did you see Benny come this way? Fancy Pants? No, I ain't seen hide and hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. He's changing his own code. That's the only theory I have, considering he keeps moving around, is he's rewriting his own code to keep something secret. That's the only thing that makes sense at this point, is he's deliberately trying to stop it. Uh, it's good to see you again. Yep, but this is getting mighty embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Bye. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. So weird. It's so weird. Howdy, partner. Jesus fucking Christ, this guy. <laughs> He's freaking me the fuck out, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> It, he scares me every single time he appears. Uh, can we get in the back? Yeah, it just takes us here. We didn't check upstairs, did we? Okay. About that warlock gate. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> My warlock gate was on point. Do you know someone in that party is a friend of someone who tweeted me saying that was my friend who, who slagged off your gateway. I would like to use your voice clip of you telling him to piss off <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for their team speak. He actually asked for permission. I was like, oh, of course you can. <laughs> Ooh. True Police Stories. Actual best magazine. What does that do? Crit chance plus five. Yeah, buddy. You guys and your bins. You're always getting me to check the bins. You just like the idea of me being filthy. Is this Boulder City? Sucks. I was expecting more. I'm not filthy. I'm crystal clean. I'll have you know, I'm smelling of imperial leather. Lavender. Think about it. I have a lavender aroma. I'm hey. clean shaven. Boo yeah. I'm not a liar. I used Imperial Leather, Leather, Leather. So British. Leather Foam Burst. I haven't got any Bakewell. In fact, Chris found that you can buy the Bakewell body wash uh, on Amazon, but it's eight quid a bottle. It's so expensive. It's like premium as fuck. <laughs> All right, I think we've checked here. Maybe over here. <laughs> it's like one pound for an Imperial Leather Lavender scent. Or eight times that to smell like cakes. Uh, I think we've been everywhere. Yeah, we've been in here. This is where Jessup was. Yeah. yeah. You're sort of stealing from there. <laughs> you live where you'll be able to get shit faced. Cheers from Sweden. Have a great time out, my friend. Have a great, great time. Get that mint tea. Man, I don't like the spell of mint. I don't like smelling of mint. It doesn't mix well with my variety of colognes. 
We must have a variety of clones. Anything in here? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> my my, the gentleman certainly does prefer his scents. Why, why are all the Swedes drinking today? You got a Swede national holiday? Sweet power? Ooh, what's this? Let's go check this out. Midsummer? What's Midsummer? Do you know, um, at one of my first uh, meetings with Swee's IRL, one of them convinced me <clears throat> that a, a national... This is no joke, okay? And I don't know if Demi's here, but it was Demi who convinced me of this. Demi convinced me that once, once a year, Sweden has, I believe at the time it was either hedgehogs or... The hedgehog, there you go. August remembers this. Has a hedgehog problem. So every year, Sweden as a country starts to build these giant uh, wooden houses, essentially, in the forests, like out of twigs and branches and whatever. And this attracts all the hedgehogs uh, to this one location where they live. And so after a few months, all the hedgehogs have moved into this luxury complex that the people have built for them. And then they set it on fire. And they murder all the hedgehogs. And that's the big party that they have. <laughs> and I was, as you can imagine, as I imagine you guys are, taken aback by this story. <laughs> taken a little bit aback. Hey, don't, again, again. This was a Swede explaining it to me. <clears throat> and uh, I was... Shocked. Whoa! Yeah, that's tonight. We're getting a fire going. Hedgehog's going down. Hedgehog's going down. Yeah, don't trust everything you hear about Sweden. You think it's all beautiful blondes and legs as far as the eye can see? Mm -mm. Very shady place. Very, very shady place. Alright, we've got four attempts. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see if we can narrow the odds down a little bit. Looks like one there. No. Ooh. Where's my... Uh... There we go. Not much in the way of limiting the choices here. One there. Okay, let's try children. Two out of eight in children. So, I mean, it could be anything. Let's try requires. One out of eight in requires. I mean, that makes no sense to me. What's the only... The e? Yeah, not the E. Yeah, true. Must be the R. Could be the last two. Uh, corroded? No, because requires has two R's. Can't be refugees. Can't be whatever. Defeated. Appeared. I don't think it's R. Could be the E. Knuckles? No. One out of eight. Mm, we're going to have to cancel it. Unless we risk it because we're hardcore. Mm. Can I find a big one and maybe reset our chances? I don't think so. Uh, I think we could pick the lock anyway. I'm not seeing a big one to maybe reset our chances. Uh, children requires... Children had two. So this it's got... You'd imagine it's the sea then. Corroded. Oh, 
Oh, the H. Hmm. Let's have another bash it. I don't want to. Well, we can pick the lock, actually. Right, we could do this two ways. All right, let's have a guess. Let's have a guess. Families? I have 75 lockpick. What? Didn't we just get 75? 73? Mm, shit. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I think I can buff this. Uh, yeah, we must. Uh, are we debuffed? Shit. Yeah, we did have 75, but we. I think we were either. We've got a debuff right now. Uh, does intellect give us lockpick? Maybe. Addiction removal. I think it's because our carry weight's so low. Let's uh, hold on. If we just where's Ed, where's Eddie? Eddie. Where are you? There you are. Yeah. Come on. There we go. So not worth. <laughs> so ridiculously not worth, but whatever. We got there. What's in here? Alright, what is this? Just a little mining town? Sort of saved down. Hey, Smelly, how you doing, pal? Mr. Bobs, thank you. One year anniversary for Mr. Bobs. Thank you very much. Bud Parade. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, Bud Parade. Hey, Menethil, how you doing, pal? Uh, I can't believe you're finally playing Fallout. The Wasteland needs some lore. I hope you're enjoying. I am loving New Vegas far, far more than I was enjoying Fallout 3. I can tell you that. Like, the point of playing these games for me is always about, like, how silly we can get with the, um... The story and the choices. Fallout 3 definitely had some. What? Uh, the fuck? That is a lot of stuff in this duffel bag. Oh, is this what the guy hid on his way? Do you remember that guy said he hid a supply stash on the way to Boulder City? I think that's what that is. We got told there was one of those. Uh, I think it wants us to kind of go to New Vegas now. Confront Benny at the Tops Casino. Hmm. Alright, I think we need to make a choice here. <clears throat> what are we going to do about the Sheriff? At the moment, we've left Prim sheriffless. I think we need to put the M the NCR in place. Before we go to New Vegas. I think we need to put the NCR in place. And we leave Hayes uh, to rot. Yeah, the NCR is what makes sense to me right now. That could change. So we need to provide military assistance to the town. Hey, thanks for the rescue. Yeah, yeah no problem. I thought I was dead for sure. Hey, it's what I do. It's what I do. Where did that guy go? 
Execute the ex-sheriff for his crimes. He's in prison. He's in prison. I'm fine with him being in prison. We are going to check up on him later. And if he's not there anymore. Trooper. Where was the guy in charge? He kind of just wandered off. Uh, is the safe in that town's hotel a hard safe? It was a hard safe. Yeah. It was a hard safe. Um... Oh, we haven't checked this building either. I think he gave us some notes on who he needed to send military reinforcements to the town that they could actually implement being a sheriff because they were mixed up. Oh, Big Horn Saloon. Hello. Guns down. Well, not much of a party. I have no intention of picking that door. Let me check my notes. Data. Miscellaneous. Bill of sale. Ranger station Charlie. Nighttime sniper. Don't shoot the deputy. It was one of the earliest things. Hmm. No clues there. Somehow we need to get military support to prim. Yeah, we've done Nipton. Nipton is done and dusted. We've done that. Oh, I see the power of New Vegas in the distance. <laughs> Find that much it's, I expect the Wasteland Party to be going on all the time. No joke. <clears throat> uh, yeah, those are the guys next to Prim who have asked for military support. The, the guys next to Prim. Uh, unless there's a different camp that you're referring to. Let's have a check on the map. There's Prim. Uh, okay, I am going to fast travel to here just so we can talk to this guy again. We're cheesing. We're cheesing hard. We're cheesing, we're cheesing, we're cheesing. I just got... I want a reminder of where he needs... I think he gave us a clue. Hey. What is it? Nothing. Oh, Eddie, get out of the way. Yeah? Okay. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about protecting... Have you gotten us any additional support yet? Who did you say? There we go. Knight. He's at Mojave Outpost. Mojave Outpost. Okay. That's what we needed. So Mojave Outpost. Crash the fucking game. God damn it. <laughs> Stupid Fallout. It's always crashing. Crashes all the It just works. <laughs> it just works. Every single time. It just works. Don't press tilde. Mm. Alright. My fault. My fault. I'll take it on the chin. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. You don't know what it's like to have these giant fingers. Mojave Outpost. Mojave Drive-In. If I was a Mojave outpost, where would I be? Good Springs, Prim Pass. Where the fuck? Alvarado, Helios, Boulder City. Vault 34. Bottom left. Let's have a look. Harvey Outpost. Wait, he's up. Yeah. All right. Hey. Let's go. Can we get out of here this way? Don't think so. 
We're going south. We can go out south through the town. We just go down this road. There we go. Uh, explore the sheriff's house before leaving Prim. Uh, let's unlock that hotel thing. Let's do that. Now we can actually pick the lock. Let's do that. Howdy, partner. <laughs> that is a nice little emote, Chris. <laughs> that is a very nice little emote. Uh, and the safe in the shop. Yeah. Can I remember where this is? I think it's right in the... Wasn't it around here somewhere? Wasn't it this one? No, we did that one. Mm, we didn't cheese the safe, did we? I thought it was that one. Was it this one? There we go. What do we get? 11 bottle caps, Magnum, Lucky. Ooh, nice gun, actually. <laughs> Howdy, I can't wait for things to set up. Let's have a look at this gun. Oh, that is a nice gun. We've got a hilt on it. Oh, look at the design. Much goodness. <laughs> you guys are so welcoming. We need to howdy partner every new sub that joins today. <laughs> Give them your big old howdy partner. Uh, I don't want to pick the lock in the shop. If there was one. Right there. Howdy, partner. We got a named weapon. We did. Uh, the sheriff's house. Is he outside the area? I think we explored all these, if I remember right. He thinks. Get rid of Boone. How dare you? He's keeping our edgelord in scale up big time. Let's just listen to this guy. What is it? I was in a lot of places with First Recon. I don't really remember. There's a lot of places. <laughs> if, if we could have Pete, no joke. If we could have Pete, I would have Pete no problems. If we could have Pete just spinning tails non-stop, that would actually be this. Right, we're heading south anyway. Let's go. The Foxing. Howdy, partner. Zadzen. Thank you very much for the prime, dude. Howdy. A lady, eh? Don't spoil. Remember the rules of playing these games. If it hasn't happened in game yet, it hasn't happened. I don't know who Veronica is. So now when I see Veronica, I'm going to be like, oh, there's the new trailer. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's let it happen. Oh, natural. Oh, natural. I see Rio de Janeiro up ahead. Good morning, Tricepsis. Tricepsis, when did your gyms open? You inspired me to get this 100-year-old bastard of a game. There is so much snobbery that old games aren't great. Honestly, it's not like even... There's some amazing older games. That's why I still keep the consoles around. Let's try Lucky out. Uh, I was hoping for more from Lucky. Not gonna lie. Oh, thank you, Tobix. Thank you very much. I am very much anti-snobbery on Age of Games. Very much. I still think I still think some of the best purchases you can pick up is go on eBay, grab like an N64 and a bunch of games, which I did for PreachCon when we needed all the N64s for PreachCon. Oh I just went on eBay, just grabbed an N64, whole fucking slew of games, about 30 quid. 
well worth. Our gyms never closed? Really? They never even closed them? Mental. Did they put restrictions on like how many per visit or whatever? Alright, what's going on here? Nipton Road Rest Stop. I played Majora's Mask at least once a year. We're actually kind of due our Bioshock playthrough. We haven't played Bioshock in 2020 yet. I kind of feel like revisiting Infinite, to be honest. We did two last year. We did one again the year before that. I could revisit Infinite. I think I'm ready. It's going to annoy me, but I could revisit Infinite. Oh, Witcher 3 we've played twice on the stream, actually. My playthrough, and then Andy did playthrough as well. Hey, uh, I thought about Black Mesa. Eh, I'm not excited for it. I don't feel it. That's all I can say is I don't feel excited for it. I'm not taking any more yeast. I am tired of stealing yeast. Liberating yeast. Uh, Borderlands 3? <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> I'm dead on the Borderlands oh series. Are you alive? Spooky. You guys got this, I believe in you. It just works. Oh, we are seeing flashes of activity up ahead, team. Stay sharp. Hey, you got it. Good lad. Good job, team. This feels like it's booby trapped to hell and back. Landmines. Bloodlands was nice. I enjoyed the first one. I enjoyed the second one less so. And after that, I kind of started to get tired of it. It's like occasionally meeting the characters makes it really fun for me. But I don't care about loot that much, you know. So it's, I lose all that. All that side of the game is kind of dead to me. Weapons down, boys. Weapons down. In the year... In the year 2271, the Desert Rangers of Nevada and Rangers of the New California Republic met at this spot to sign the Ranger Unification Treaty. Under this treaty, the Desert Rangers agreed to be absorbed into the NCR in exchange for NCR's protection of Hoover Dam, New Vegas, and Southern Nevada against the forces of Caesar's Legion. Da, da, da. Howdy, partner! Coming from the north? Yeah. Must be crazy to brave those roads. Outpost. Mojave Outpost. Watching a lot of nothing feels like a big 50. Brahmin pen for caravans. They've been stopped for a while, waiting for the roads north to clear. Or the clearance papers to go through. Looks like you've walked away, so if you need to shake the dust off, head to the barracks at the bars there. Not much, but better than nothing. What a nice guy. Nothing I know. Of. I am definitely feeling a soft connection the north, with the NCR. You can travel freer than most around here. Might check the barracks. Someone might need you to hoof it somewhere. Yeah, you want me to just go to be the barracks. careful. Okay. You go up on the roof. Got a sniper watching the road. If your gear's in need of repair, HQ's also worth checking out. Talk to Major Knight. He can help. Provided you got a pen and plenty of ink. Oh, you want me to sign up though, mate? I ain't signing shit just because you've got a really fluffy-looking beard. 
Don't think so. If I sense corruption, you know I'll bring the hammer down. You know it. If I sense, even smell corruption, justice will be the way. Be careful going on the roof. All right. Prospector, Ranger Ghost. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. Seems a bit unfair because you're albino to call you and a ghost. And your eyes are good. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. Uh, I I'm can. sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. Yeah. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. Yeah. It was the Legion that did it. Legion turned that sinkhole into a graveyard. Yeah. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. No joke. That's not outside the border. They're moving in. And fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... Hey, be good, Zo. <sighs> All right. Thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. Did you have friends there? In Nipton? Oh, Hell okay. no. <laughs> town was a shithole. I still want to know what happened burned. to Rose and... Just not uh, by Legion. Nobody deserves that. Sylvia? Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back. Even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting. But orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's going to hell. And all I can do is sit here and watch. Uh, folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Thanks for the assist. Wish others around here had your drive. Hey there. Yeah. That's me. Mr. Popular. Yeah, it seems a bit unfair that she's the roof sniper. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now what? we have to do one for you. What? There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come running. Oh, shit. You're not shit. alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. We won't go quietly. I could call in a strike. Nice to see you, lads. I can now call in assistance. Lacey, Lacey. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. Brush so, your teeth, What Lacey. do you have? I love a toothbrush. You got any toothpaste? <laughs> Not too much. A lot of caravans going nowhere. A lot of troopers going nowhere, too. A few prospectors here and there, but... They don't do more than stink up the place. Everybody's backed up here. You'd think it'd be good for business, but most of the traders are tight with the caps, even the larger caravan outfits. Work around here? Might check with Jackson in the main building, or ghost up on the roof above, but watch out. She's, well, she's kind of a bitch. <laughs> don't tell her I said That's that, though. That's not true. Might take a bullet some night when I'm going to the That's latrine. not true. She was really nice. What? All right, for that I am taking I am taking all your caps. You have three thousand caps. Those are so mine. I'm gonna need those. All right, look. Let's talk here. Have a butter knife. Have some coyote chewing tobacco. Mm, a coffee mug. I have all the best things for you. I really do. That puts us over nine k. We are rolling in the Benjamins. Uh, bottle. Oh, all, only the best stuff there. Flame of fuel you can have. Have that. Uh, we want to try out the hunting rifle. Yes, yes. Oh, bandana. Laser pistol. Oh, we did have a lockpick thing. I knew we did. Wow, Lucky is worth 800. We might sell that. If we need money. We don't need money right now, but if we do... Nuts. Uh, I actually don't have that much to sell. How sad. We got a thousand! We got a thousand for selling the gavel. 
And we have a sword. I think we sell the gavel. <laughs> but we have the giant sword. We have the sword of justice. I need the weight. I don't need the weight. I'm good. I'm good. I'm selling it. Get out of here. I'm selling it. I'm selling these throwing spears too. They just feel too stupid. Oh, no, no, no. Shit. Crap. I just sold something I actually want. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, I didn't. Whew. Yay! 10,000 cash! 10,000 large. Beautiful. Alright, let's see if we can get this cast. What's up, cast? Looking for trouble? No. Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't touch you with a fucking dead dick. You know what I mean? I wouldn't touch you with a ghoul dick. You hear me? Not everyone's trying to jump in your pants, Cass. Get over yourself, you fucking miserable bitch. Ooh, 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 ooh. Getting all up in my face about it just because I said hello. Fucking hell. We're not all hunting for poon. Deep. Ain't deep by half. Closed down the bar yesterday, gonna close it again today. Rinse and repeat. Drinking to forget. And it's only getting me Speak mad for instead. yourself. <laughs> Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. <laughs> I'm Drinking not hearing used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. I Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. How about you keep your hands by your sides? Yeah. Don't worry. Not looking to throw punches just yet. And something tells me hitting you would be a mistake I wouldn't want to repeat. Fucking right, Lost Cass. Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo. They just burned that, too. Uh, why? My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR supply line. And the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in. Out, the Vegas Virgin, just huh? try arguing with Jackson about it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Roads aren't you safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a Brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Who's Jackson? NCR officer, trooper, whatever. Runs the place. He's over in the main building. The one without a bar. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though this my caravan's gone, my caravan papers <laughs> are keeping me here. So if you came here for work, my advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. Okay. What's on your mind? Uh, our game plan at the moment is we're going to finish Fallout New Vegas, then we'll do Pokemon, then we're doing Last of Us 2. And the idea there is that hopefully those of you who are really vested in it will have uh, already played it and we're not, not going to spoil it for people and stuff. I know quite a lot of people in the stream are looking forward to playing it themselves. So, that is the game plan. Uh, what, why are you here? Whiskey and me are old friends. Keeps me going when times get rough. Yeah, exactly. I like know many now. of you are waiting for your Got copies. Got me into the so caravan business, you know. I'm okay to wait. Had to start transporting water instead of liquor, though. I'm totally fine with it. If I hadn't switched over, I'd end my trip with nothing but glass bottles rattling on the back of the Brahmin. Well, Pokemon will be after... Again, Poke don't spoil Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, the new Pokemon Armor Island came out. Uh, I wish DLC. I had a first recon guy looking after Pokemon me. isn't like something we can spoil, but you guys do seem to quite enjoy me being awful at Pokemon. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> Yet, I was the champion, undefeated in every single gym. What a hero. Yeah, we might need to pull out some... Uh, we might need to break out the emo archive there, Chris, for whenever the time appropriates. The time arrives. One thing I want to say to you all now, as uh, hey. a promise from me to you, is that this time around, we won't accidentally kill any Pokemon that we're trying to capture. That's from me to you. That's a promise. 
All right. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... <laughs> uh, ooh. NCR soldier, courier, citizen, I guess. Sir, yes, sir! Reinforcements. About time we got some more hands around here. Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out. I'm not sense. lying, Massey. I'm I'm, I'm genuinely going to make an officer, effort. He's in the back. Although he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Confer. Oh, Major Knight. I tell you what. That's some mighty smooth skin you got there, Major Knight. Oh, uh, Knight. You must not be from around here. If so, doesn't do to get too friendly. Something wrong with asking your name? This isn't the Republic. Oddly enough, Legion's a little more forgiving about friendships. Out here, it's not as accepted. Whoa, NCR not homophobic? That I'm friends. It's just being open about it in the outpost. Well. I have to work here. Night for you, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to whip it out right now. I'm going to walk around this base. I'm going to jizz on every man in here. Yeah? Think about it. Uh, ooh, what's the next port of call? That's not legal. <laughs> hey, you back up. That's not legal. I didn't realize the NCR was so spineless. So that is a no, you don't want to be friends. Aw. Aw. I would. Perhaps some other time. When my orders take me to Vegas, perhaps. I wish things were different, but might take some time. If you need something repaired, let me know. I can sign the work order. As long as caps change hands, I can put them back in yours. All right, we'll rain check it. We'll rain check it. About Prim. Prim? Hayes units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. <laughs> what can I help you with? Dealt with. Prim has seen better days. Hayes is under man. He's requiring, requesting some additional support. I'd like to help. But we can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. Uh, I have helped out to here, so he treats the Privil fortify the NCR in the region. I see the wisdom in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. Nice! Alright, job's done. We can now instill a sheriff into Prim. Law and order returning to the region. NCR border guard duty mostly. It's our job to make sure the caravan is moving safely along I-15 and Highway 95. Not the best posting or assignment, but it beats being sent east or patrolling the Colorado. Legion's pretty thick there. Uh, okay. Right. This is gonna cost me. Yeah, it would cost me 14,000 to repair all my stuff. Uh... Mm, actually, I'm fine. Help? Oh, well, you could speak... Right, he sort Jackson. of runs things around. Right, let's go talk to the gaffer. Maybe we can get some Kappa Pride going with the gaffer, and then we can get some sort of... I don't know. I'm just thinking... I'm spitballing. I'm spitballing, but I'm thinking that between me and uh, the, the gaffer, we can maybe get some sort of spit roast going with Knight here. We can farm a kebab. You know, have some chicken. See what happens. Now that's a mustache. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. I'm here to assist, sir, yes, sir! Well, about time we got a soldier, and not a recruit. Howdy! You've seen some action. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. All right. Hello.
Look, not everybody who has a mustache is gay, all right? That's just generalizing. False. <laughs> False. <laughs> Okay, um, let's, so what have we got? Clear out the critters, my kind of town. Cass is drowning her sorrows at the Mojave Outpost. Her advice, go to work for the Crimson Caravan. Heartache by the number. All right, let's do the critters, then we'll do the heartache. And let's see if we can pull Cass out of her funk. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can reach into that darkness. Take a hold of Cass right by the fucking chest hair. You know she's got it. And pull it right out so she's back on the team. That's the plan. Why have we been growing a mustache there? <laughs> this makes no sense. I can't really, Koobs. Fuck DMC is easy for you to say. You know? You're not paying people's livelihoods. You feel me. You feel me. You sit there on your throne... And you're like, oh, yeah, just fuck it, Mike. Just go for it. But you're not, you know, providing people with food, shelter, warmth. You get me. Oh, my. Oh, you know, it reminds me of Ant-Man. That could be Anthony. You never thought you would nearly cry at the death of an ant. But Ant-Man maybe. He's not even attacking me, you know. Can't you negotiate? Can't we negotiate? You're right to turn your back on me. You're right to turn your back on me. You know what you did. I was trying to negotiate. It was Eddie. It was Boone. It was Boone. You know it. I know it. Appear to be leaving. Hold fire. Hold fire. They appear to be retreating. Oh, shit. I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm so fucking dead. Lucky, show me what you got. Not sure about Lucky's pistol either, to be honest. Oh, now you want to go. I see how it is. Can't run from me. Uh, let's try that hunting rifle out. Let's do that. Retro. Oh, we did get a sweet headshot. It's just not good against the armor, right? That's the problem we got here. Wow. Gourd seed, uh, helmet to repair ours, uh, hunting rifle to repair ours. <clears throat> Enemies seem to glow red whenever I target them. Guys, these ants are evacuating, alright? 
You really need to calm down. You're making our whole operation look bad. Uh, the Boon Companion Perk. What does that do? Exactly. What is his companion perk? Makes them glow red. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's go see if we can help Cass out, man. <laughs> let's go help Cass. Let's get her out let's get her out of this stupor. Hey a racetrack! The fuck? Uh, thank Mr. Mephisto. Yeah, He's the one to push those together. I find it so hard to watch, certainly the clips you make of me. Which are always terrible, by the way. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. I mean, you guys like it. Ivan, Ivan per racetrack. This. Pretty sparse for a racetrack. Oh, something going on over here. You like that? The Jackal. Gang leader. Nope. Well. Not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting more from a gang leader, but here we are. Oh my. Oh, they're all gang leaders. Oh, I see. This is like an LFR guild. Everyone's a fucking raid leader. Got it. Two members, 24 officers. That's good. Understood. Class officers for a 10-man guild. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Makes sense to me. All right, uh, let's boost our speech up. And let's get the science on the go. So we can make sure we can do some hacksawsing. <laughs> LFR guild, where do I apply? <laughs> Sign me up. I want to be a part of that action. You want, you want me to try out this cowboy repeater business deal? You think it's worth? I quite like the hunting rifle. It's got kind of a boom to it. And that likes me some boom. Gotta say, I haven't found a gun I particularly fell in love with. Oh, this thing looks like an actual piece of shit, though. What's this over yonder here? Who's this? Thomas! I know this guy! This day just can't get any worse. I think we all feel bad now. <laughs> this is the guy who snuck up on us in that town, right? In the, the town that was full of the sacrificial people. Nipton. 
Yeah? In fact, is that Nipson over there? Is that where he's coming from? I took his money. Yeah, it is Nipson. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming from Nipson. Fair. All right. Let's go sort Cass out. <clears throat> I didn't take his money. I educated him that his pursuit of bottle caps was perhaps mistaken. I was doing him a favor, okay? And that I would look after them for him. Which I am, by the way. I wasn't lying. Defrauding. Defrauding him. <sighs> you say so? No, he was going to get himself killed. Look at that sad sack. You saw that sad sack, right? That sad sack shouldn't be out here trying to... Trying to look after people. Trying to fit, find his way in the world. He needs to find himself a motherly type lady. Uh, with large bosoms. She'll take care of him. Oh, I don't think we've seen one of these yet. That's the first centaur I think we've seen in New Vegas. Uh, this area appears to be radioactive. Had me at large breasts. <laughs> An ample bosom. Bosom. Of course, you're carrying a straight razor, you edge lord. Are they protecting a camp? Who's shooting rockets? Uh, I think we gave Boone a rocket launcher, but I don't think he uses it. How far are we going to look after Cass, out of curiosity? Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's going to be later. <laughs> that's later. <laughs> TNT brother. Alright, uh, we need to go back to Mojave. Let's fast travel there because we just literally walked the exact way we're going to have to walk back. Yeah, sorry Cass, we're going to deal with you later. Evening. Alright, where's Ranger Rick? Here he is. Appreciate the help. That mustache. Wish I had more work for you. <laughs> But nothing else on the radar at the moment. No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied, and I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not gonna come check. So here you go, just between us. Uh, a service rifle added. Cool. Two weapon repair kits, a hundred caps. Hey. Hey. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. At the border patrol? Smart. Big smarts. Okay, uh. Major Knight promised additional troops for Prim. Speak to Hayes about NCR protection. Uh, oh, it really wants us to go to New Vegas now, but I feel like there's more for us to do in the open world before we commit to that. You know? But we'll see how it goes. Oh, we should sell up. Let's. What can we sell? We got a lot of stuff, I think. 
That guy has loads of money. What was that rifle he just gave us? We got a hunting rifle. Lucky. Two Sarnoffs. The service rifle. Right, we should probably use that over the cowboy repeater, yeah? This looks more beast. There's an awesome quarry you should take a look at. Sure. We got a direction from here, maybe, Chris? Oh, let's go to Prim first. Our next stop is Prim. Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example for the others. I know Ranger Jackson appreciates But do you, though, Major Knight? Yeah? Do you? Oh, it won't let us do anything. Boo! I don't want repairs. Where's the, s the sell option? It has. It was a promising trade town before the escape at the correctional facility. Lost a good bit of money at the Vicky and Van. Where was that merchant? Oh, it was the bar. Yeah, 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 it was the bar. All right. Hey, I'll be seeing you later, Major Knight. Wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. I have a feeling that with both these perks, Vegas should be a very good time for us. Background? Uh, okay. One of those. One of those. One of those. Let's get rid of the mines. We never use them. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the grenade rifle. Hunting rifle can go. Lead pipe can go. Sawn off can go. We can't, ca we can't carry 8 million weapons. Like, maybe it's time we got rid of that gun. Now that we've got Lucky, what do you think? Keep it. Keep fucking hound. Jesus. Jesus. You're all getting angry. All right. We've nearly taken every. We have thirteen thousand. Get twelve thousand caps now. We're so huge. We need to sleep somewhere. I need a bed. I need somebody's bed. Give me your bed. Give me your bed. Where was the barracks? Evening. Evening. Go sleep in night's bed. <laughs> oh, is this yours? Was this not the barracks? Eddie, you're in the way. Where's the barracks? Okay, not in here. Is the barracks part of the bar? Is it a bar slash barracks? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> right, which one's Knight's bed? Doesn't say. Right. Cool. Let's go to Prim. It's a bar, Rax. Ayo! Mm. Got him. Got him good. Leave. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Is that, uh, um, all right, if we see anything, I'm going to make a stop. But other than that, we'll continue on. I want to try out this rifle. Guarantee it's giga shit. Giga shit. Oh, 
Ah, it's scorpions. Boo! Sleep is the best thing you can do in this game. Sleep, I mean, if we could sleep like we could in Fallout that repairs, like, crippled limbs. Awesome. We'd all be happier. I see Prim. Your sleep doesn't do that? No, like many times. No joke. I have gone to bed and had like a sore ankle and then woke up the next morning and it still be sore. I have experienced that. You could have had Casper follow if you spoke to her. We did speak to her. We need to uh, get her sorrows out, I think. <laughs> I think you have cancer. The Nevada Highway Patrol. Over here. Are you referring to me or my Centurion's hat? I have all of those things. Hey! Come on now. I was a grasshopper. There's no need for that. Would we ever take Cass as a follower though? And again, now revealed it. <laughs> She was kind of rude to us, you know. What the hell were you guys doing in here? Guys, we're up to no good. Get cast to follow you to Hank's bed. I don't think we need a cutscene for the killing of a grasshopper, but we, we celebrate anyway. We celebrate as a team. I've got to say, this highway patrol feels kind of like a bunch of twats. Lead powder pistol, large pistol primer to build ammo. We need to look into this building ammo business. The jackal ganger dish faces. <laughs> they don't seem to be particularly effective at anything. Anytime I've run into them. They also seem to be somewhat trying to have a bureaucracy. You better get out of here. Oh my. Yeah, but I think we have to build the or buy the primers. Maybe from someone. Oh my. Where are these convicts going? From? Did someone just throw a scorpion at me? Who throws a scorpion? Do not like. I 
Piper Jackal, how you doing, buddy? Eddie Lamar, how you doing, buddy? And Mr. Lepofsky, thank you for the three months. 13 and 35, respectively. Mr. Valiant, uh, with the 18 months. I haven't been able to catch a stream recently. I hope you and your family are well. Me and my family are just hey fine. Hi. Hey there. Hi. Yeah, the family's doing really good, actually. Um, they're a pretty good place. Their days are too full. I know that sounds weird with lockdown, but the rhythm they've got into, I'm, my concern at the moment is that my kids aren't getting enough sleep. So we're trying to sort of provide better time for them to go to sleep. They've kind of incrementally got going to bed later and later. So we're no definitely noticing that they're getting very... Uh, they need naps? No, they'll be on naps, but their days are so full. So they're doing like studies, like morning till late afternoon, but then they're out. Um, what's happened basically is Emma's farm, where she keeps her horse, a lot of her friends have recently also moved to that same farm with their kids. So now the kids basically have this massive playground that they can run around in for hours and they can ride little ponies together and shit like that so they're having this massive physical and exhausting period of time that's happening after they've done school stuff so by the time like 10 11 o'clock they're fucking fried and that's why they're, they're getting like nightmares and they're getting a bit restless in their school studies as well so we'll just keep addressing that a little bit Hello. all right Hayes. Yeah. You got you extra support. Yeah, I just got word of that. There's a squad of rangers standing by. Yeah. Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff, and the rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. your choice but those rangers are only coming if we get your support i need to talk to the townspeople hello i don't hate taxes i understand the need for taxes and i pay my taxes i pay a lot of taxes i do pay a lot of tax But, uh, I'm not imposing taxes on people who didn't ask for that or agree to it. Let's talk to the people. Do they have anything to say? Did Obsidian consider the option to come and ask them? Hey there. Here you aim to bring the rule of law back to our town. God knows we need the help. Okay, they need the help. John. Just hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Now your guess is as good as mine. You might luck upon someone who's a natural-born sheriff. I heard of one fellow what got himself locked in that NCR jailhouse up I-15. <sighs> and maybe that ain't the best credential, but a sheriff's a sheriff. I imagine the NCR would be able to bring some law to the town, too. But from what I've seen, they barely got the firepower to protect themselves. <sighs> Where's the option? Okay. That beat up old p Not a bit. Oh, Daxi Kid, thank you very much. Howdy! <laughs> the big howdy. Thank you very much, Daxi. Thank you so much, dude. It's very generous of you, pal. And a howdy to all our new partners there. Although Monique is Monique's third one. Leak Monique. We see. We see it. Howdy, howdy. Can't say that I have. Of course, I never saw it running for long, so I never heard it do much of anything. <laughs> the courier dropped it off a little bit ago. I'd hope to. Yeah, we know this. You have no options. Don't. 
No, 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 no. He, hey, needs, he needs to help me here. I need to know whether your people are okay with being taxed. Prim Slim. Well, I guess I never thought of that. I guess he could be sheriff. If you think he could be reprogrammed for it. Reprogram Prim Slim to be the sheriff. All right, we have a third option, which is to turn a, a greeting robot into sheriff. But now we're instilling AI and bringing down the, bringing on the downfall of society. Check out the prison. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> that prison is free now. Howdy. Move along, please. All right, buddy. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino Howdy. and Museum. So we can do this. We can make Prim Slim the sheriff. That way, the uh, rate the NCR still does protection, but the people aren't paying taxes, and we don't have to instill our criminal sheriff. We can leave him to rot. The other side of this is a robot. He's going to use logic. He's the kind of guy who wouldn't try and save the kid. Remember, uh, remember that documentary by Will Smith about robot AI? It was disgusting there. That <laughs> documentary by Will Smith, Wild Wild West. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you went straight to Wild Wild West as the documentary about Will Smith on AI. <laughs> iRobot is very much documentary. Um, I think Prim Slim is our best choice. We've got a corrupt cop, or we impose taxation and registration on these people. So the robot is the way to go, surely. He's going to kill everybody, isn't he? This is a mistake. I like this as our best odds. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah! Oh, the mistakes were made. Oh, so many mistakes were made. Yeehaw, having the ability to kill people. All right, we need to tell Deputy Beagle he now has to report to Prim Slim. Where's Deputy Beagle? Hey there. Well, if it isn't the law... Why is everyone getting their guns out? What's the problem? My problem is that I'm no longer a deputy. I'm just a Beagle now. Slim's all right. I don't wish him no harm. But the law to him is a set of logic. Not everything is black and white. Will Smith sure robot can never understand that. To be fair, can we not his name should change. They haven't changed his name from Deputy Beagle. Everybody's leaving. Is it nighttime or did, is it cuz it does it just coincidentally line up with the robot? Hey there. Hey there. Howdy. Yeah, Beagle's a complete coward. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vic. I feel like we goofed up. <laughs> I really do feel like we goofed up. What's the time? 7.27 a.m. Why did everybody leave? I feel like when we go out of here, everybody's dead. Where's everyone going? Howdy. Did I do a bad? Hey there. They're going to their home. Oh my. Yeah, he's already dead. What do you mean they're going to their homes? It's 7 a.m. 
Everyone just decided at 7.20 a.m. they were going to bed. Have they come out because they have a sheriff now? Is that what it is? So now they have a sheriff, they're now returning to their normal lives. That's what I choose to... That's what I choose to think is happening. That's what I choose to think is happening. Okay, I didn't do a bad. I'm a good guy. The robot is not going to go on an AI-fueled rampage. We did not just create Skynet out of a casino robot. That's very unlikely. I have a very high science skill. I would not have made such an elementary mistake. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I need a mirror. I need to talk to myself for a few minutes. Yeah, okay. Life's returning to normal. These are very happy people. Like, look. Yeah, she's having a cigarette on the street. She's fine. Aren't you, Ruby? Welcome back. Good to see you again. Good to see you having a great time. Okay. Woo! Thanks to you, Prim's on the way back up. Yes! With folks watching over Vindicated! Us, I think the Raiders will keep their distance. All right. Good job, everybody. Good hustle around the town. Really like it. Vindication. Best day of my life. Best day of my life. I am not giving the robot nuclear weaponry. Let's go and talk to this fucking chode who mentioned nothing about taxing and registering these people after I did all that work. You fucking piece of shit, Hayes. A word. I wish I had a first recon guy oh, you just walked out because you know I'm here, right? Yeah, I understand. Better get back here, Hayes. Yeah. Ah, nothing to say now, have you? Yeah, thought not. Fought not. Fought not. Nice hat, by the way. Fucking loser. Bye. Good job still having to protect the town because it's your fucking job. <laughs> Cocker. He still has to do the fucking work, right? Just doesn't get paid for it now and he doesn't get to register citizens and shit. Okay. Uh, Benny Cass is drowning her sorrows at the Mojave Outpost Her advice, go work for the Crimson Caravan uh, And then that's the DLC So it wants us to go to New Vegas Is there anywhere we've not been yet? Let's have a little goose Canyon Wreckage Good Springs it wants, it's time to go to New Vegas, isn't it? It's time to head. We're going to New Vegas. We're going to Vegas, boys! We're going to do Hearty by number first. Uh, the quarry. Where is, where is the quarry? Where's the quarry? Where is it? Give me a, a direction. North of Sloan. We've never been to Sloan, I don't think. We've never been to Sloan. Mm. Oh, there you go. Good Springs. Oh, so it's about here ish. About there. We have been to Sloan. Apparently. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Alright. Awesome. Alright, let's have a piss break. <clears throat> Two minutes, team. Let's have a pee break. And then we're going to quarry. Then we're going to sort Cass's life out. Because I have just saved Prim. Because I'm awesome.
feels good to be the law. Doesn't it? Don't you guys get like a nice warm feeling about how much justice we've brought? Hey? Eh? Don't you guys feel good about it? I do. I'm doing great, Fury Raptor. We just didn't cause the eradication of a whole town. And we got them free without being taxed. We didn't have to instill uh, a question. But we've got a sheriff who's whiling away his days in a prison where he belongs. Feels good. Feels like we did some good things today. Well, it is based in uh, Nevada. I actually love having companions deal with these crappy enemies. Rather than getting constantly attacked by burrs and things like we did in 3. Fuck the police. How can you say that, considering what I have done? Every town we have visited loves us. We can now call in, like, airstrikes. We should do that. We should call in the NCR at some point. I'm not sure how we do it. But I think we should do it, just to see what happens. You're a vigilante? But I'm like Casey Jones or the Turtles. I'm a good vigilante. I don't even consider myself a vigilante. I've got a badge. I've got a deputy hat. I've got companions. Don't spit. That's what you get. You were going to spit at me, weren't you? Have you tried out the new available dungeon on Alpha? We certainly have done it a few times. Very nice dungeon. The other side. I'll, uh, I'll have a TDP up for it as well in the next uh, day or so. We're not doing... Uh, Chris has prepared some wonderful animations and stuff for our actual dungeon coverage. But we're going to wait until they're, they're being adjusted and changed. What's going on, friends? Friendly Powder Ganger? That guy's got cold eyes. Definitely ex-military. Why are the Powder Gangers friendly? You better be sleeping with one eye open. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are the powder gangers friendly? I'm wearing uh, a crimson hat, I think. But we've just we've killed a lot of powder gang gangers. Yeah, I mean, you guys are guilty AF. Two for you and two for you. you gained karma. Thanks, game. Game knows. Chat doesn't know. Game knows. I've eradicated so many powder gangers. Like, <laughs> how is it possible they would even consider me a friend? What madness. I would laugh my ass off the NCR in disguise. That's their fault, right? Warning, death claws ahead. Oh, thank you. Uh, this gun feels worse than the other one we had. We had one that was there. The other rifle was actually one shotting them.
You guys are all safe scummers. There's a reason you guys have an emote, which basically lambasts yourselves. Did we check this place out? I think we did. It looks familiar. <clears throat> Damn it, impenetrable tiny wall. My, you have much health. Uh, let's try some rapid fire. Looks like the powder gang has had a run in with some death claws. <laughs> they don't need this goofy ass run. This is a oh okay. Okay, we'll leave the quarry till later. <clears throat> we'll leave the quarry till later. Mm. Understood. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. <laughs> Why can't I choose these quests? What's what, what the hell? You did try to warn me, but you got to remember, I'm heroic. There we go. All right. Let's go to New Vegas. <laughs> Let's go to New Vegas. RJ and Mr. Gear. How you doing, pal? Let's go to Vegas. <laughs> heroic or moronic? A heroic. Heroic. I think we get ourselves some good quality weaponry, some good armor, and we'll be fine. We'll be fine. You know there's probably good loot there, though. Hmm. fellas Prim's got some new sheriff watching over the town now yep. certainly does certainly does had enough hedgehog thank you very much Mr. Gloves, welcome. Thank you for the five four months, my dude. Ooh. 
Why am I losing karma? Like, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. It makes... It's just so upsetting. It's so upsetting. It's not the point, play to feed. It's not the point. These are bad people. Don't steal from... You can murder the dead. You can murder... No, you can't murder the dead. Gene skydiving. Why are you even talking to me? I don't know! We've gained karma. Okay, we're recovering. I, it just makes so little sense to me. <laughs> it's so weird. But taking their stuff, now that's where we draw the line. Oh, Emma's here. Let me close the door. It blows my my mind that Emma constantly is taken to talking on the phone with loudspeaker. Just calls people, puts her phone on the side, and just bellows. No, I just say you you've taken to always talking now on the phone with a loudspeaker. What? Yeah, I know. I know why you're doing it. It's just strange. <clears throat> no, it's strange to call people while you're doing the washing up because the person you're calling can hear you washing up. Why are you here? What? Where are you going? Yeah. We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. You appear to be aimlessly wandering the desert. He's on patrol. Okay. He's not doing a very good job. All right. I get he's relocating somewhere, and it is cool to see them doing that. It'd be nice if they included a line. <laughs> Hedgehog, gifted a sub to Krisky? Oh, thank you very much, man. It's really generous. Welcome, Krisky. Just make sure you use those emotes for good, and not for bad like everyone else. Oh shit, are we coming up on the quarry again? <laughs> Hello? Oh god, we're back again. Yangtze Memorial. Is there a memorial to the Yangtze River? I didn't know about that. All right, I'm saving, all right? Uh, I mean, we could try and take on the Death Claws.
I think I can kite them. Let's sleep. The question, I mean, you've got to imagine there's good loot in here. You gotta believe. It's all gotta be worth it, right? you guys to kill these. Yeah, but it's a video game. By video game rules, an area like this must contain the, the chillest loot. It has to, right? Zombgates, oh my god, gamer. Welcome, sir. Welcome, man. Thank you very much for the subscription, dude. <laughs> video game rules says... There must be a good reason to have a ridiculously hard area, right? That's the rules we all live by. Any game that throws areas like this for no reward is just being mean. Stephen Fry! Love your work. Thank you, Mr. Fry. <clears throat> All right. Look. It may appear foolish to some of you. But we're just going to have a little look see. All right, we're going to save. We saved. Why do you take no damage? <laughs> Why do you take absolutely no damage? Save. Alright, this. So, from last time, there's two up there and there's two down here. What if we can get a sneak attack? You're mine. Eddie's down. Relax, Mike. The problem as I see it is there's too many of them. Uh, we backpedal to try and avoid their melee attacks. The grenades. One down. One down.
We did better. Now, what if we... Let's think. Let's think. Hold on, hold on. We sold all our mines, didn't we? We did sell all our mines. We could come back later. We could do that. But uh, you know me. <laughs> you know me. There's an impulse that lives inside me. I can't really explain it. The same impulse that makes me like Mythic Raiding. And all those kind of things. I like to start with this. Can we get a better pull? I don't like our attack vector. Oh my. Shit. Eat this. What did you pull? What did you pull? One down. Ah, you can't. I need to time the jump. If we can time the jump, we might be alright. If we can time the jump, we'll be better off. Cripple their legs. I like that idea. Oh my. Let's let the uh, AI do its job. Not helping as much as I thought, actually. Okay, this is an issue. I wonder if they're the same four or a different four. That's the question. Oh my. Eat this. Save. I'm not sure what that was. We're getting better. We are definitely getting better.
Oh, thank you very much. Do you want to talk to stream for a minute or so? Uh, don't walk forwards under any circumstances. Okay. Uh, Emma's just made me some uh, eggs. I'm just going to eat my eggs. Back in a sec. I'm just going to eat my eggs. Yo. No, he said don't walk forward. He said do not walk forward. Do you know what? My issue in life is that I feel like it's when he said don't touch the sticky thing. I only did it once. I know. Since when do people tell me what to do? Oh no, don't because I'll get him killed. I can look around though, right? Who is that? Who is that? Don't, because I really want to press you. Ah, oh, don't, I really want to do it. No, don't, honestly, because I, I can't control myself. Could shoot him right there. How do I shoot? Do it. Why do you keep saying walk backwards? Problem is, when Mike says don't do something, it immediately makes me want to do it. just shoot the robot how do you shoot let me just test okay that's how you do it don't shoot them no i know how to do it though i can hear mike Do it, Subin, do it. What if I just shot that? Oh, don't, like. Ah. Hi, who's you, who's this? Who? This. That's Boone. Can you shoot him? No. Why? No, come on. Please, can I just shoot no. something? No. Just something. Emma, please. Oh my We're God. We're in the middle of something. I know, but I just want to shoot something. I heard you. Oh, it's not fair. <laughs> Never let me kill things. Uh, you murdered a whole town the last time you played. Can I just shoot the robot? No, those are our friends. No. What? Oh, you didn't tell me I could do all this. I don't want you to do all this. <laughs> We're trying to take on quite a serious uh, class 4 situation. I really, really struggled not to shoot him. Alright, where are they? Here we go. Here we go. Ah, that was a bad pull. Three at once is a little tricky. Three at once is definitely not ideal. Alright, well, one more go, but I'm not really sure this is possible for us right now. It doesn't help that they pop in. Right, good cleave damage. Can't get the jump right. Hmm. 
They do cleave me quite well. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. We haven't got any better armor, have we, to hold up? In fact, we've got no damage reduction at all left on this. <laughs> we're actually not wearing any armor. Okay. Uh, job while we're in Vegas is to probably find some better armor. Ooh, we could call the NCR. How do we do that? Is it NCR thing? It's there. I'm not sure how this works. Do we have to be in combat or what? Will they appear immediately? Are they coming? We're outside NCR range. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Hippie. That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll come back later. I called, but nobody came. It does feel like a fat man job, which kind of sucks. We should have got mines. If we had mines... Mine. Jesus Christ! We're not sneaking past. <laughs> well, Vegas is pretty safe. Uh, does that work? Oh, that feels cheesy if we do that, though. I can almost smell the cheddar. Is there a ladder up there? Oh, my. No, I don't think you can. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yep, that's not gonna do it. <laughs> that's not gonna get it done. Four death claws is a problem. Let's go round. Let's go round. I feel like we take the we take the smart decision here. We get at least one more protection from some form of armor somewhere. Neil. Oh, maybe Neil can help. Neil, my friend. Neil? This is a dangerous place, human. Especially for your kind. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. You must have heard a radio broadcast. No. The why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me. Unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. Sounds like you've had enough of Tabitha. Help would improve the odds. Help might just make the difference. All right, if you're good enough at what you do to meet me in the village up near the peak, we can talk further. Well... I'll have a plan by the time I see you, if I see you. Good luck. It's going to be a lot harder for you to get up there than it will be for me. Don't worry about it, Neil. All right, we're helping Neil. For sure. Neil. 
Neil's gonna give us a weapon that insta kills death claws. Right, Neil? Right, let's see if these are mutant friends. No. Why did he... Jesus! Now, these guys look like the kind of guys that carry some armor. Actually, quite the opposite. An assault carbine. Ooh. Now, you all saw I approached that friendly like. Did the mutants have their own radio station? Keep out is written that way. I want to follow this way. Whoa, Night Kidder here as well. Sweet. Nice. They're going to be stealthers. Oh, I can repair my sword. Nice. But it says keep out. Whoa! Let's eat some Willy Mays, some mole rat meat, some fruit, a drink of cola, and some pork and beans. Well, these guys are promoting racism. You heard it. Humans out. It's not the kind of world we want to live in. Let's get in here. These brutes have all the armor. Like, no joke, man. They have all the armor. They really are pretty spectacularly armored. We need to get some actual armor-piercing bullets. have rounds four? That's my question that we need to check. Let's get out of the radiation. Uh, if I... Where is it? Is it in ammo? Here we go. What's it listed as? Alright, so we have armor piercing for this. Oh, we leveled up for some reason. <laughs> Fine. Uh, let's boost our... Yeah, our guns are probably nowhere near where they need to be. Our actual ability uh, to deal damage is way, way lower than it probably should be. 
The intense trade put okay in shining armor beams reflect off the mirror-like finish of your gleaming armor You get an additional five damage threshold against energy weapons while wearing metal armor. That's so specific uh, You get a 20% health bonus while using stim packs. Oh mm, I don't think we need strong back though with our companions, right? Oh Mysterious stranger. Yeah, yeah, we want both of these dudes to turn up. <laughs> it should be really funny. Okay, that's much more effective. That's that's much better. That's much better. By all the armor piercing rounds. Yeah, we've only got 35 left. It is like when we swap to the club in Demon Souls. <laughs> oh, radiation levels pretty spicy up here. Nightkin. Nightkin don't wear armor, if I remember. Oh, you don't need. Oh, there she is. That's the girl. Okay. And she wears sexy armor. She's a she's a sex kitten. What about the mysterious stranger? Cop killers. Oh my god. I haven't heard that term. That's a tango and cash term. Jesus Christ, that's old school. That is seriously old school. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Eddie! I need you now, pal. I'm carrying something that's really heavy. Probably these assault carbines. Repair and stuff later on. Let's push on Black Mountain for now. You now have radiation poison. Visit a doctor, or I'll take right away. Okay. Wow, this place is super radioactive. Team is actually Pogger's damage. You told Babitha. 340 bottle caps. Score. Neil! My friend! A pleasant surprise to see you made it. I'm ready to get started if you are. I am. Here's the plan. The gate to Tabitha's compound is guarded by several Nightkin, all of them using devices that make them invisible. I'm going to draw them away from the gate by telling them I spotted an intruder in the village. Then you slip in. Good luck. 
We're going to need it. Didn't work, Neil. Did not work. Ah, well. I don't blame Neil. How's it going, Neil? You alright, Neil? Yeah, everything fine? How's the plan going? Good? Good. Just thought I'd check. Just thought I'd check. As long as you're good, Neil. I've done what I can. The rest is up to you, human. Couldn't have done it without you, Neil. Vital part of the operation, by the way. You look after you. <clears throat> really are a hero. Really is a good guy that Neil. Thanks Neil. Thanks for the heads up. There's a rocket launcher here. Appreciate it Neil. Good guy that Neil. Good guy. Eat this. Oh, I am wobbling. I am wobbling. We we need we need uh, arms working. Arms make go. There we go. <laughs> Actually, it's a missile launcher. <laughs> Idiots. That might help with some death claws. I wonder if we can give it to Boone. Can we give the missile launcher to Boone? Annabelle. Is that Mark Hamill? Right, Boone. Fine by me. Suppose I gave you Annabelle. What exactly would happen? Would you keep using the other thing? We have to give him missiles. Fine by me. I thought he generated his own ammo. Yeah, he's gonna use it. Yeah, he's gonna use it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I think we may die. I think this may get us killed, but we'll see. Check the robot's circuitry. Your know, quick assertion that the robot's current AI state is set to hibernate, likely a self-defense mechanism after the unit suffered catastrophic damage. Whoever repaired it probably didn't know how to reset its AI. Uh, after flipping the right switch, the robot jumps to life. <laughs> Could you please trust Ronda? me to Mistress Tabitha? <clears throat> Thank you very much. My internal clock says it's been six years, 52 days, 40 minutes, and 13 seconds since I last spoke to her. I hope she hasn't gotten lonely. Are you... Rhonda? Are you Miss Tabitha's fuck robot? Not judging. Just asking. Uh, the guy on the radio definitely sounded like uh, Mark Hamill, though. It sounded like he was doing his Joker voice. Ah, you guys keep a whole bunch of shit in here. 
Ooh, requires key. Requires key. Okay. I wonder if our girl Tabitha's got a key. Rhonda? Is that you? It is, Mistress Tabitha. How I missed you, sir. This stranger here fixed me up right as rain. Is he a friend of yours? I don't know how to thank you for bringing Rhonda back to me, stranger. Here, take this. I won't be needing it anymore. I don't know. It's been so long since I lost Rhonda that I'm not sure. <laughs> Mistress Tabitha, we should be heading off. Our journey has been much delayed, but we can catch up if we hurry. Come along now. Yes, Rhonda. Well, that did not go the way I thought it was going to go, but I'm happy. <laughs> that was, uh, I expected that we were about to go through some sort of cave. There would be a whole mission involved. We'd have to clear out endless super mutants. Apparently not. Apparently Tabitha just wanted her Ronda back. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, let's not screw this one up. Four attempts left. <sighs> All right, it should be easy, all right, guys? Easiest one we've done yet. Can we make easier? All right, let's go with radios. One in six is correct with radios. Let's try shacks then. Two out of six with shacks. So the S at the end. <clears throat> could be the K. It could be tricks. Okay. What did we try? Shacks. Shacks has one. Thomas. No, uh, oh, the T. Yeah, it could be the T. Yeah, good call. Good call on the T. Marcus made me type this. The leader of this community, Marcus, said I should start keeping a journal to get my mind off Ronda. He also said I might find something interesting inside this stupid old building. What could possibly be interesting here? The only thing that works in here is this junky old terminal. It's a radio station. It's amazing. This place is a radio station. If we can get it repaired, we can broadcast music across the waste. Just like Rhonda and I used to listen to. Ah, Rhonda. How I wish you hadn't gone away. I asked all of the mutants here for help, but none of them could do anything for you. Which makes me doubt they can fix this place. On the air. The radio station is fixed and we've begun sending our message out to the desert. Marcus thinks I spend too much time in here, but what does a first gen know? Rhonda says they're just one step up from dum-dums, and I agree. There was a fight in the yard today between some of us and the first gens. Marcus made a speech about how we need to work together, but why should we? We were the master's favourites. We don't need their help. Rhonda says we'd be better off without them. Marcus and the others left today. Finally, we have the whole place to ourselves. No more listening to lectures about what we can and can't say on the air. The airwaves will be free. Now Rhonda and I can host our own radio show like we've been planning. I don't know any. I don't know why Marcus always refused to let us do it before. He always started getting real nervous when I told him what Rhonda thought about things. Rhonda says he was afraid she was too smart to control. <laughs> anyway, this is the start of a new era. The only downside is that most of the dum-dums chose to stay. I finally got Raul, Raul to finish installing the security measures on my door. Now I can have all the privacy I want. Just in case I have a dum dum moment, I've placed the spare key under the stairs behind my building. No one ever goes back there, so it should be safe from discovery. Lucky. Great news! A ghoul entered our camp today who has experience fixing machines. He seems to really like it here, so I hope he can stay long enough to fix Rhonda. Weird, Rhonda just asked me why she would need fixing. She has a point. What was I thinking? I 
All right, let's try with... Uh... I do like to remove the choices. It makes me happy. Lantern, one out of seven. So it could be the N. No, it can't. Because that would be A and N. Mm. Lawless. One out of seven with Lawless. So the L, I guess. No, that doesn't work either. Ballers? Was there ballers? Passion. One out of seven. No, not passion. Perfect. Four out of seven with perfect. So it should be respect, right? Log 672. We've been picking up a lot of activity from China's satellite network. The tension is uh, pretty high around here. Frank's been talking about securing a place in one of those vaults for himself and his family. And when he didn't show up to work yesterday, I think we all knew where he went. Oh my god, it's actually happening. We have readings across the board of launches happening everywhere. They must have thrown everything they had, and it looks like we didn't hold back either. The computer says we have two minutes until the first missile drops. I can barely type. The mounting shield is from the worst of the blast, but there's just too much radiation. I can't believe these old machines still work. This place looks pretty defensible, and the radiation should keep the majority of people away. Looks like we found a home, at least for now. First things first, though, we've got to get these corpses out of here. Poor bastards. Marcus. <clears> hmm. <throat> Garbage. Uh, isn't this where Rhonda hid the key? Yeah. Tabitha's room key. There we go. Yeah. The original person died. Three Magnum revolvers. Repair notes. Raul, Rhonda made me angry, so I threw this. Now it doesn't seem to work. Please fix. <laughs> oh, the life of a repairman. <laughs> yeah, Tabitha was packing no less than three magnums. Three. You gotta respect that commitment. She likes her guns. You can say that. I don't get why she just left. They're going on a journey, I guess. Oh, lucky repairs off magnums? Good call. Uh, is there anything else here? What's the sheet music? Anything we can do with that? No. Good morning, big dad. How you doing, bud? Okay. Can we go see Neil again? Is Neil happy now? Is Neil a happy boy? Find Raul. Raul! Where are you? Is Raul the ghoul? Entry one. 
Because if I don't have enough pointless things to do here, Tabitha wants me to start keeping a log of all the repairs I do. So here's my first log entry. I fixed up several old terminals that were left over in the intact buildings. I wonder if she's planning to, what she's planning to use them for. Apparently the mutants raided a caravan today. One of their rifles jammed. It took about seven minutes to fix. I also performed minor maintenance on the broadcasting tower outside. It's tempting to think that I could have just pulled a switch here and taken uh, this accursed station off the air. No doubt she would have killed me soon afterwards. But it might be, it might have been worth it just to see the look on her face. The mutant with the scar across his face, whom I have taken to calling Cuddles, stopped in today and asked me to fix his car. I told him that's outside my expertise and seriously thought he was going to kill me. Oh, Cuddles! I tried to escape today. Tabitha had one of her men beat me senseless when they caught me. Now they lock me up in the next room whenever I'm not working on something. Oh, and I fixed a toaster. Cuddles came in about his car again. He even bought a container of gas and asked if that would help. I tried to tell him that gas was not the problem, but he got really angry and dragged me outside. Tabitha killed him before, uh, killed him herself before things got too ugly. At least I don't have to hear about his damn car anymore. Tabitha came in today and said she's concerned about my safety. She's insisted that I change the lock on my door to require a password using one of the other computers I fixed. I'm really starting to regret ever fixing those. The password is 1 to 9. Like anyone who cares will ever read this. My boy! Took you long enough. So can I go now? It's okay by me. Enjoy your free. What do you mean so long enough? Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on my cell is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So since the door's open and all, can I go now? <laughs> it was definitely... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Hold on. Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. Is that Danny Trejo? And why does the jumpsuit say Miguel? Probably because it used to be Miguel's. Whoever it is Danny was. Trejo? How cool. about if you let me go, huh, boss? Yeah, okay. Alrighty then. I'll just head out. Alone. By myself. Into the dangerous waste. Oh... Do we want Danny Trejo, though? <laughs> yeah, Machete. The thing is, bringing a, a ghoul into New Vegas is definitely going to cramp our style. We just gave we just gave Boone a missile launcher. I'd actually kind of get rid of Eddie. But I, I think Eddie's integral to the story somehow with uh, the Enclave. Um... Sorry, boss. But as much as I like to risk getting killed by your side, you seem to already have some help. Adventure awaits. Sorry, Bob. You can only have one follower at a time. Sure, Bob. Okay. Yeah. Fine by me. We just talk to him. What is it? If that's what you think. All right. 
Guess I'll be around Novak for a while longer until I figure out what I want to do with myself. You're a good soldier, you dude. Raul! Uh, okay. Oh, it's you. Anything's better than staying here. Let's go. Alright, let's fix you up, though. This is, uh... This won't do. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Fair and equitable. That's me, ball. <laughs> Have a cowboy hat. Yeah. Uh, have a cowboy hat and have. Mm, let's give him the metal armor. Let's give him some missiles so he can have some fun. We need to get him some sunglasses or something. I don't think we've got any. We had some bandanas, but we got rid of them. Uh, we'll get you a helmet. Oh, you look awesome, dude! Yes, bro! He gives some sort of maintenance repair thing, I think. Raul! You looking good, pal! I like Raul. Right, can we steal anything, Raul? I mean, uh, now you're coming with us. I mean, it's all fair game, right? Uh, I don't know. Where do you check the stats for the buff? Judge Preach, level 12. I don't know where you even check it. I'll be honest with you. Effect. Perks. Regular maintenance. While Raul, Raul is a companion, the condition of weapons and armor decay more slowly. Well... I'm sure you'll be a good companion, Raul. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. Let's go find Neil. 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 Let's find Neil. Mr. Zenitin, how you doing, pal? I read your message this morning. Uh, it kind of sucks for me because that'll be like 2 a.m. for me. We can definitely find some middle ground that will exist, I think. Uh, Durka Turka, thank you for the sub, my man. And Mr. J Diablo, thank you for the two months. Mr. Tubzars, how you doing, bud? Probably able to make some time to come back to the stream. Awesome, man. I hope life is treating you well. I hope life is treating you well. I do hope for the best. Uh, do you think Neil's gone back to, like, his camp? I'm guessing. Uh, we went over the new legendaries this morning on the stream, is what we did. Um, but most of the WoW gaming we did yesterday. We'll be back to it at an appropriate time. Uh, you're on the road, stay very excited town talk. Oh, cool. Oh, you're on your mobile? You're not typing while driving, are you? Dangerous, dangerous. Typing and driving. Sweet Jesus. We're going to New Vegas now. It's going to be awesome. Working in the UK public sector has been very fun. <laughs> I bet. Oh, he's not here. Where did Neil go? I haven't gotten dressed yet. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Fair. Man, where did Neil go? Big Fs. Okay. Uh, so, let's go. Let's sort Cassie out. Let's do it, team. We're going to Las Vegas. Viva. We're getting Mage to 7 5. I don't even. You're right, Salamandan. Of all the things I thought they would bring that bring back, I did not think they would bring that back. I should just cut and paste that to nups. And now they're, they're giving the brace a proc, but now it gives combustion instead for six seconds. Six seconds of combustion. Oh crap, we're in Deathclaw country again. Right. Raul, this is going to get a little weird, but you need to trust me. Hold on, team. Ah, shit. 
Uh, run, Raul. Raul, run. Run, Raul. Oh, shit. Wait, Raul? Eddie? These are going to kill me. Like, very quickly. Uh... Hi! Uh, guys? Distract. Saying that, we gave Raul a missile launcher. Oh, crap. Where is Raul? I can make it! I can't make it. I can't make it. <clears throat> Alright, we need to go around the other way. That's the plan. We go around the other way. There must be another way off this mountain. Leia, how you doing? Uh, good day to you, Mr. Tove. And play The Last of Us today, all good? Yeah, I know. So many people in the stream wanted to play Last of Us. That's why I thought we could leave it a few days. I am perfectly fine to leave it so we can have uh, an enjoyable experience and everyone can join in. A okay in my book. Aha! Let's go over here. Roll! Okay. Sure. I guess we're just glossing over it, right? Okay. He's fine. <laughs> He's got that metal armor. He's cool. Don't worry about it. Now, I'm assuming this isn't all Deathclaw country. I just want to go to Vegas. That's all. I want to see Penn and Teller. Let me see Penn and Teller. You fix your legs. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Raul is unconscious. The has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. <laughs> ah, this doesn't look good. Uh, we need different ammo. Everywhere we go recently has really been re uh, such a dangerous place. I can't change the ammo on this. We need to change the ammo. Otherwise, we're going to die. Gotta say, these streets are really getting... Uh, they're getting quite dangerous. Can you guys just relax for a second? I'm swapping bullets. The, uh, the armor piercing does nothing. Yeah, the armor piercing didn't seem to do a damn thing. Which is a little sad. At least, let's at least heal up this time. Sunset Sarsaparilla. <clears throat> when in doubt, use explosions. Uh, grenade rifle them. That explains why Raul is unconscious. He was being eaten alive by a death claw. Right, right, okay. Right. Good to know, good to know, good to know. 
NCR Ranger safe house. Awesome! What a twist of events. Key, I'm NCR people. Ah, oh, shit. Honestly. Thank you, mysterious stranger. I'm a little surprised. Let's try and burn them to death. Had enough? Mm, the fire does nothing either. Go for the legs. How these guys are so tough. Pretty sure his health just went back up. <laughs> That's double painful. Do they need a special type of ammo beyond armor piercing? Or are they just like giga tough guys? This isn't helping, if we're being honest. Right, will my team come back to life? I could do with the guys. I could definitely do with the guys. Alright, Raul's back on his feet. That's good. Right, we've got a Legion situation. Have we got any hollow point ammo? I think so. Nope. He doesn't have ammo? Didn't we give him missiles? We did. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Maybe he can't use Annabelle. What do you think of that? You think he can't use Annabelle? You think he's too weak? I mean, he carries his own gun, obviously. Give him machete. <laughs> Give him the machete. You know you want to. Uh, where's Eddie? Alright. Should have kept Boone. Yeah, but Danny Trejo. Come on, Raul. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep coming. Oh, we got Eddie. No Raul yet. Where did they go? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't know, Eddie. <laughs> there we go. Oof. We got a crit. That's good. One down. Good shit. Wow, they just immediately wiped out Eddie. Like, there wasn't even a pause. Get him, Raul! I believe in you, Raul! No, oh, the crit will carry. The crit carries.
Oh, like the movement of the AI in the Fallout games is remotely predictable. <laughs> The crit did not carry, no. Let's take some drugs. As an officer of the law, there's a time and a place. Alright, get nice and close. Alright, can't miss! No crit. Unlock. Damn, if it wasn't for this reload time, Jesus Christ. Did you miss? You totally missed. Can we buff Eddie's armor? Yeah, the talk option is that I've come to kill you. That's his talk option. He's an assassin. Let's dance. Now right, let's take all this stuff and try and fix. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's not bad. All right, we're going to give ourselves our current armor for reference. Currently provides one damage perfection, uh, prevention, which is not good. It in fact provides less than our helmet. <laughs> which is not good. The problem is I don't want to dress like one of Legion's people, you know? None of us wants to dress like one of Legion's people. I want some just nice... Nice armor. It really bugs me. God, we are carrying so many weapons. In New Vegas, when we get to Vegas, guys, we are changing this. Maybe if I put on, um, if I take the hat off and put a cowboy hat on. Oh, crap, I gave Raul my cowboy hat. Is it wrong to take it back? What if we dress Raul as a centurion? I don't think he'll mind. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. And I can wear the metal armor. All right, Raul, this might s seem silly, but honestly, I think it's a good idea for you. And a dog hat. All right, we'll give Raul... Why won't he take it? What? What's happening? Your companion is unable to wear that faction armor. Can he wear... I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. Yeah. What about a Merc Crusader? Okay. But he's not wearing it. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Why is he not wearing it? I thought Merc armor might be able to get away with it. Alright, metal armor then. His default is better. You know what? I think we got a good thing going on here, Roll. I really do. I think we nailed it. Like, as a team. Talk to him? <laughs> I don't want to talk to him. Uh, Alright, I put my cowboy hat on. Oh, I can't wear this armor. FML, dude.
I can wear it when in combat, I suppose. That's kind of a bummer. Look how good it looks. I look really cool. We both look cool, Raul. We're the coolest guys in the West. <laughs> We're just a pair of cool dudes wandering around the desert. <laughs> I'll hear nothing. I'll hear nothing said about me and my man. We look very cool. just I am not giving him the machete by the way I don't want that in my life all right okay I need to remember to change armor on occasion I'm not giving daddy Treo a machete I am going to get shot. I don't want to wear Legion armor, but... The only option is we just leave Raul armorless. I'm which sure I can you'll do. be fair and equitable, boss. We can do that. We can leave him armorless. I'm going to do that. I, the dog head is more than enough. It is. The dog head's fine. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. For sure. For sure. A hundred percent. Have an assault carbine. And a shotgun. And a varmint rifle. You can carry all these, yeah? Let's see. <laughs> he's going to be fine. I, uh, part of me thinks maybe he's going to end up in trouble, but I really think he's going to be good. I believe in Raul. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, I did. I don't know. We good. Repcon headquarters. Hello. How may I serve you, Master? I guess we should have a look inside here. Subjects. Three out of eight correct was subjects. Elements. <laughs> Hacking genius. Fucking Morpheus over here. You gotta fuck this one right up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unquestionably. Uh, okay, let's start with uh, concealed. Five out of nine with concealed. Six out of nine with converted. It's got to be concerned, right? Five out of nine. One attempt left. Six out of nine with converted. Let's 
Let's see if we refresh our chances so we don't goof it. I really thought we nailed it then. Oh, I didn't refresh. Boo. Boo game. I boo you, sir. Collected. Conversation. You guys are just guessing. What if we end up locked out? Huh? What if we end up locked out here? Give me another chance. That's all I ask. Tolerance? I don't think that works. No, not if converted is six out of nine. Can't be volunteer. It could be concealed. Collected. Uh, constipated. If converted to six, I see. Oh, E D works. T works. Collected looks good to me. Rolling it. We're risking it. We're rolling it. Get in, chat. Not me. <laughs> Get in, chat. Good job. Add user facial data to the database. For first floor access. Um, those of you in the main building may be curious about the men doing all the work in your offices and hallways. They're installing some enhanced security measures. These measures are in place for your safety as well as the safety and privacy of your Repcom family. Along with the hardware and software security changes, each of you will also receive a personnel packet with an identification badge. It is, all, it is very important that you wear your badge at all times. Again, this is for everyone's protection. And everyone feel free to take a long weekend as soon as you've received your personal packet. Have a great holiday, Piers. What a nice guy. <clears throat> From Carl, Vice President. Hello, everyone. My name is Carl Rook. As I'm sure you can tell, I'm your new Vice President. Until recently, I was at Robco, working in their security division. Now that your family and my family are one big family, we thought it would be nice if they sent an older sibling over. Now I'm going to do as much as I can not to interfere with your daily operations here. My principal's concern is going to be security. I hear that you all have been adapting well to some new security procedures. Well, we've got some new kids to join your little family here. You'll see some friendly androids patrolling the main building. As long as everyone remembers to wear their badges at all times and make sure they are properly registered with security, these friendly androids will stay out of your way. So as long as you all keep on as you have been, everything will be just fine. Thanks for your time. Carl, P.S. Please remember that the third floor access is for executives only. If you need assistance from me or peers, feel free to give us a buzz on the phone and we'll send you down the daily password. Thanks. <clears throat> We're gonna need a lanyard. Badge. Badge. Need a badge. You need a badge, Raul. You do. You're letting us all down, Raul. Hello. Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. Uh, we need to get an eye. We need a lanyard. We actually do need a lanyard. Plasma rifle. Hey. Now facial pattern detected. Yep. I have good facial. Hey, Raul. Where is he? 
I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. How do you feel about a plasma ri rif rifle? That sounds like it's up your street. Uh, and you need... What kind of ammo does it use? MF cells. All right. We're so heavy. Eddie, I'm so sorry to keep doing this to you. I know, I know, I'm a jerk, but <laughs> I can't carry all this shit. I really am just palming stuff off on you, I know. Goodbye, Rocketeer. Be sure to visit again. Oh, and please, for your own safety, stay outside of restricted areas. But a science skill of 100 is needed for that. Interesting. Uh, we have managed to completely um, encumber Eddie. It is possible. Unauthorized facial pattern. Second floor access restricted to registered employees. I, I thought we just did that. <laughs> right, hold on, hold on. Is yeah, we got first floor. Can is there somewhere we can do second floor? Before we start, you know, taking our usual route. <laughs> is there somewhere we can do that? That goes outside, right? I mean, we could take some drugs and buff our intelligence to deal with that. We can there are, we have options. You have been warned. Please vacate the premises or you will be considered an intruder. Right, we really, really need to find a lanyard. Uh, let's save. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Oh. Never mind. Oh, the mysterious stranger. What are you doing? I think Raul died again. Oh no, he's good. He's good. Missiles. I this didn't go as planned. You know the lanyards in here or something. No, it is. Uh, Mikey started Skynet? No! I am trying to do this by the book. Oh, I don't mind getting carried by a squad. I am fine with that. Uh, not what we're looking for. Ooh, Nuka Cola quartz. Well, I'll take one rocket souvenir. I'm not a thief. Where's the lanyard? These alarms seem a bit excessive. 
takes one. I'm not a thief. <laughs> I'd be, uh, I'd be pretty good about this whole thing, honestly. <laughs> Ooh. I lost karma. A model of our solar system, not actual size. Beautiful, isn't it? Robco, with its subsidiary Repcon, has has often gazed into the night sky, seeing the rich pageant of stars and planets above us. Our goal? To send unmanned rockets to these other systems, seeing their beauty firsthand while mining e ever deeper into each planet's surface for precious resources needed here at home. This is our promise to mankind, extending our reach into a future where the number of Robco and Repcon rockets match the stars in the sky. That's a lot of rockets. It's not actual size, yeah. I know one of you thought it was. Well, I don't know where you get the fuck. Found it. Can we turn the alarm off now? I have a key card. Welcome to Retcon Hit. I'm here to. No. Turn off the alarm. No. I know the alarm got worse. Fuck! I have the security pass now! Can we turn it off here, maybe? No. There must be a way of turning off the alarm. There has to be. I'm not a hostile. I have a security card. Okay, everyone. Let's all relax. Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. Excellent. We buy... No! We got through security, lads! No! Come on! No, not Eddie. Come on, dude! I'm Mrs. Millet! Lads, will you calm down? Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Right, this is how we do it. Okay, this is it. This is it. Right, this one is very easy. Pure. One out of four. Could be wary. Come on. Add my face. There we go. We did. We added face. To Carl Rook, Vice President from Sarah Wang. Carl, I've made some progress decrypting the packets. From what I can tell, someone is sending prog progress messages to a secure off-site server somewhere. Were I to venture a guess, I would say that the messages are going to Poseidon. But I don't have enough proof to make a serious claim. To so Carl. Mr. Rook, for the last couple of weeks I have seen a higher than usual rate of encrypted messages leaving the facility here. These messages use an unusual encryption protocol that I haven't seen before. I'm fairly certain that it isn't a DOD approved method. I fear that these messages may be a sign of someone sending insider information. Sarah. Mrs. Wang, please continue your investigation into the messages and keep me appraised of any progress you make. In the meantime, please keep this information private. I will make sure the appropriate parties are informed and please call me Carl. Oh, making a move on the Wang. Well played, Carl. 
Hello, I will need someone to come over as soon as possible and clear the old vice president's data off this terminal as well as reformat it with my personal information. Carl. Uh, I'm pretty sure Sarah died. I'm pretty sure they had Sarah killed. <laughs> that's, uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Uh, Carl Rook was the new vice president, right? I'm pretty sure he just had it killed. Carl made a play for the Wang, but in reality, he just wanted to kill. Right, I am friendly on this floor, okay? No one attack me. We're all buddies. Buddy, buddy. Hello. Second floor security card. It's all coming up Millhouse. Oh, this is a hard one. All right, team. Let's start with choke point. Three out of ten with choke point. Three out of ten with choke point. Hmm. I feel like that's a reset. So... Could be concerning. Could be descending. Two out of ten descending. <clears throat> uh, concerning. Two out of ten on concerning. Let's see if this was a reset. Uh, where was it? I just removed a dud. Remove another dud. Removed another dud. Crappy on this side. That's it. Okay. Uh, all right. What do we got then? We haven't got any really good options here. I think we have to redo. <laughs> yeah, this one's a rip. Let's try again. We did not come out close on that one. All right, let's have a look. Let's start with... There's a lot of IONs. So let's try one that doesn't end in ION first, like Arbitrator. One out of ten. Well, that's... That's not useful. Oh, God, we've got an allowance replenish. Let's try attracting. No, start, let's try the ION, see if it is one. Six out of ten with starvation. I mean, basically, it's like whatever the beginning is, right? So let's clear as many duds as possible. Well, that doesn't work. Really? Oh, I think we already did that one. Separation. 
Round of applause. Round of applause for Tadza Burrs. Tadza Burrs bringing it home. Uh, print an executive security badge. Cool. Uh, from Piers Isley, general manager. I am sad to inform you that after many years of loyal service, Leonard Steeple has stepped down from his position at Repcom. Uh, we wish him the best of luck of all his future endeavors. For the time being, Julia Masters will be overseeing Leonard's departments. Department heads will be meeting with her later today. Thank you for all your time, Piers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Humble as always, Tanta Burrs. Humble as always. Oh, I you, Don't let me keep you. Alright, you guys are all getting in my way. They added a lot of androids to this relatively small building. Speech. <laughs> Speech. All right, this one's an easy one. We got this team. We'll start with uh, you guys carried. Four out of seven for carried. Four out of seven. Warrior. Like it. Oh, Bex! Round of applause to Bex! Encrypted message. From blur to blur. I've managed to get the password to Isley's computer. I'll forward it to you with the release notes to the Q35. The prototype is going to be stopping here on its way to the Department of Defense. You should be able to intercept it on the road. Julia, I'm sure you've heard about uh, by now that Robco's intention is to buy out our company. In the past, you and I have been of like mind when it comes to the moral and financial future of this company. When Poseidon showed interest those years ago, you helped me rally the board in order to keep Repcon autonomous. I'd like your help again with Robco. Pierce claims that Robco is buying shares in the company to force a hostile takeover if we won't sell willingly. I don't believe that they will be able to pull together enough shares without some approval of the board. I think that you and I will be able to sway enough votes to keep the company safe. I hope you'll stand with me forever, Leonard. Yeah. <laughs> to Leonard. <laughs> I stand with you, Leo. Give me a few days to try and gather some support from my allies on the board. I've run the numbers and I'm pretty sure you're right. We can fight this. To Piers. You were right. Leo sent me a message last night. I've made the call to the board. I think with the numbers we are looking at pocketing from the Robco deal, we will have no trouble getting the board to vote no confidence on him. <gasps> Bitch! Julia! <clears throat> The proje project, the Quantum Plasma Modulation Matter Injection Rifle. Ooh, status failure. Oh. While version 3.2 didn't have the power yield of the 31R30, we managed to increase the stabilization threshold by approximately 27%. This is promising. However, we still have yet to come up with a solution for the matter inversion issues. Failure. Lab destroyed, data lost. 34. Failure. Interesting. I'm not sure where we got this data from. It is a completely different direction from what we've been working on. We managed to cycle the matter inversion using a polarized quantum spin. <laughs> it's obvious, bro. I think that we solved the issue with the compensation field. I have high hopes for the next weapon. Status success. That data we received from Zwan uh, did the trick. We managed to get a stable build model. I don't think this weapon is ready for mass production yet, but it should uh, show that we have a working prototype. We should be able to get these issues resolved in a later build. As you requested, here are the improvements when compared to a standard plasma rifle. High refire rate, but the time speed shots is more consistent. Increase in active bolt charge. Plasma charge is 30% increased damage. Bring Stringer! Mr. Sultrasian! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mr. Red uh, Redsis. Thank you very much for the four months. And the Masterful. I hope you're doing well, my friends. Doing well. So there's a big gun. I, I'm thinking then that all this. Hello, Mrs. Millet. 
I hope you have an excellent day at work today. I will, thank you. I'm thinking that the parts that were being brought by the couriers, including myself then, were the parts maybe for this weapon? And I was killed so the Las Vegas fellas uh, could get their hands in it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, no spoilers. I'm thinking out loud. We never want spoilers. Never ever want spoilers. But uh, do you like to think out loud, you know? I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Sure, dude. Me too. Me too. Can you hold the helmet? You can, right? I'm so overwhelmingly full of crap. You know what, Raul? You look really good. Don't listen to what they say. Not many people can make that work, but you, you make that work. You do. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Uh, who the hell is that? That's Raul. You watch your mouth. How may I serve you, master? You watch your mouth. That's mouth with an F. Uh, we want to go up. We had to take him. He's voiced by Danny Trejo. I was without a choice. Right, this is the executive floor. Right? Which appears to have 20 toilets on the executive floor. Uh, sure. Alright, very hard. Oh, we can't do that. Um, we can't gain... Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify... Can we up our luck by one? Invalid response. You have. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. Do we have something that gives us luck? Addiction removal, energy weapons plus. What does Jet do? Action points. Lock pick. Mentat doesn't give luck, does it? Guns plus 10. Psycho. Rebound? No. Throw a scorpion at it. That's not the plan. At any point, the plan is not to throw a scorpion. It really isn't. Unarmed plus 10. I'd be really surprised if we've got any apparel that does it. Melee plus guns. No. Uh, what does... I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. Nah, his helmet doesn't do anything. Alright, we're going, we're going, we're going. We need to get all antsy. Hmm. Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. I can't hack the PC. I can't get 25 science, I don't think. I don't think I can get 25 plus science. I don't think so. Energy weapons. It's not going to help. Shoot it, pussy. Yeah, I kind of wanted to just unlock it, though. I printed out the executive pass, but I need an executive's badge. So let's just make sure we haven't missed it on this floor.
Yeah, the box aren't going to give us enough, I don't think. Is it possible it printed out and we didn't pick it up like it came out of an actual printer? I don't think so, right? Of course, That's of what course. I'm thinking. Don't let me keep it. Uh, leads us back downstairs. Which is the office where we did it? Was it here? Is the encrypted message? If we have to go to war, we have to go to war. It's, it's really whatever, but let's have a look. Do the science book stacks? Uh, I don't know if the science books stack, actually. Ooh, did we do this one? Yeah, it looks like we did. Yeah, this was the first room. Mags don't stack, yeah. No, uh, there's two different types of books in New Vegas. There are some books which are permanent increases. And then there are magazines that give you a very temporary buff. Yeah. Executive security badge printed, so... There we go. Third floor security badge added. So is, did it just not give it to us last time? We did do that. Mm, you say easy, but I'm pretty Hello, sure... Mrs. Millet. I think we did do this. Well, we'll know if we start getting blasted. There's your answer. Third floor access is for exact... It's because we've not added our face. That must be the computer to add our face to it. Inva yeah, it's got to be that. Ah, I think we just shoot them. No, we, there's two things you need to do. One is the card. The other is your face. But Brotherhood of Steel? Uh, why is the Brotherhood of Steel up here? What? it done. Die, robot scum! And Robot Boy is a fucking beefcake, by the way. What an absolute giga stud. I like this guy. Yeah, I do wish we could turn this off, but we will do. Unlock the safe. Nice. Hello, Piers. Now that things have been set in motion, I'm going to be your liaison and point of contact with Robco. I'll be handling anything that arises during our tra your transition to the Robco family. My first priority is going to be tightening up your security. As you well know, Robco handles many classified projects. Because of this, Repcom will need a large increase to security. I'll be sending over some engineers and security personnel to discreetly install some enhanced security procedures. Most of it will be pretty innocuous. However, all employers will be required to wear their security badges at all times. 
Please have your people start wearing their badges well in advance of our partnership becoming official. I think it will make the transition easier. None of the security measures will be activated until I arrive on site. Hopefully by then everyone will be comfortable with the new rules. To Steve. Launch facility project manager from Piers. Steve, can you send an email out to your engineers reminding them about our security policies? I'll be sending a message next week about some increased security procedures. Thanks. And uh, nothing good in the safe. Boo and a hiss. Mm. One Brotherhood of Steel guy? What sense does this make? That goes back to the second floor. Does it bring us down somewhere else? Hello, Mrs. Millet. I did I pick up a note? Let's have a look. <clears throat> Mission code XV56. Temporary password lives to fight another day. Summary. Paladin Matisse and Lander, you are to survey the ruins at coordinates, blah, blah, blah. Search for the components we need and retrieve what you can. As a secondary objective, compile a list of additional items at the site for future retrieval. McNamara. So they were just on a scouting mission to get stuff. Fair enough. Wait a minute, we go for the arms? A hollow tape. Cool. Glad you guys spot all the loot stuff. <laughs> I never check the loot ever. I can do with opening this. Yeah, there was a hollow tape on the floor. Check the bins. Uh, I don't see one. I don't see a hollow tape. I won't. Lazy! Thank you very much. Uh, in the middle of doing a three-day charity stream in a minute, but I'm enjoying myself. Oh, my God. Thank you. A three-day charity stream. That sounds exhausting, man. Uh, you say I looted it, but I don't see it. I like it when the alarms double up. That's the best. I'll take it just so you don't think I'm a, a horrible human being. But you can carry it. Eddie can carry it. Please turn off the alarm. I beg. I beg. Nah, nothing else, I don't think. There's one computer we can't get into, so I guess we'll have to come back. Yeah, we've, we've checked the safe. We've got the stuff out of the safe. We has it. I am definitely concerned as to why the executive floor has, like, 50 toilets. Yeah, we got the safe. Move. <sighs> Woo. That alarm is stressing me out. Hello, Mrs. Millet. Yeah, that's on the second floor. The other level 100 is on here. Uh, the ground floor, actually. And that takes you into the service area. So we'll have to come back. We'll put it on the notes to come back here at some point. But for now, we can't do the rest. One for each day. Is that the dream? A new toilet every day. Yeah, in here. We can't get in here. Oh, I had the key! Oh, awesome! 
Oh, we got the gun! Nice! <laughs> that worked out really well. <laughs> Think Raul will use it? I don't want a plasma gun. Accidental pod champ. Best kind. We got, I didn't realize we picked I'm up sure a key to that. Fair and equitable, boss. I'm trying to give you a better gun. But you're very picky. What about that? You want to use that? Yeah, he will use that gun. Yeah, Raul. Now with sparkles. Alright, let's get the piss out of here. Nice place. Would visit again. Bye. Woo. How can you say that Boone owns Raul? Look at this guy. What a champ. Let's see if there's anything over here. We should really get to Vegas. <laughs> I think we started this morning. I'm pretty sure when we started like six hours ago, we were like, hey, we'll go to New Vegas now. And here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Just wandering around. <laughs> Getting into trouble and shit. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, like four and a half hours ago. What happened? I went off for about an hour and uh, has Boone and Eddie gone? Eddie's still here. Boone's gone though. Boone, Boone has left us. Unfortunately. Sad, but yeah. That lovely jingle jangle. Yeah, you, there is no Vegas. You'll never get there. Ooh, cartons of cigarettes. Big money. Big money find. Oh, I'm encumbered again. What am I carrying that is so heavy? I'm carrying something that is just so heavy. Maybe it's time we got rid of the shovel, guys. We haven't got like 70 grenades again, have we? Tons of caps. <laughs> You're carrying 13,000 bottle caps. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. I wonder if Edie can carry the Centurion armor. Where are you, Edie? Eddie. Eddie. Eddie or Edie? I prefer Edie. Okay. Take this from me. All right. All this. And the shovel. Look, we're down to like very few weapons. This is the least amount of weapons we've had in any game. Carry all this. There we go. We just freed up like 50 spaces. It was just that armor. Yeah, but I like Edie is better. I mean, it's my robot. Can I name it? You know what I mean? Look, guys. We are heading towards New Vegas. We are moving in the right direction. No death claws out here, right? Uh, well, Eddie's got the Brotherhood of Steel armor. This looks like a prison. I likes me a good prison. Weapons down? Apparently not. Eddie smells something. Hmm. 
This place looks hyper suspicious. Hello? How do you engage combat when we got in here? Huh. Yeah, we'll leave yeah. it well enough alone. I know. Let's dance. A fiend. Oh, I've got to say, Raul, I think you would look good in this armor. I do. I kind of think you'd look rather dashing in the armor, pal. Alright, let's test this out, pal, I expect right? to be awed by your dizzy mercantile uh -huh. sense, boss. Alright, I'm thinking we give you some of this. Oh, that's the shit right there. With the centurion hat? That's hot. <laughs> I think it looks perfect, don't you? I think it looks great. I just want Raul to, you know, be a good guy. Done. That's all. Ooh, a sadist armor? Eh, uh, let's test it. Hmm. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. I will be. I will. I will. I just need to check. All right. Let's take the pain spike and give you the sadist. You know, the hands on the hook on the side really do make it work. Yeah. Look, he's accessorized now, which is great. We can all appreciate a bit of accessorizing. Hello. So about going to New Vegas. <laughs> we'll get there. Don't rush me. Let's dance. All right. There's a building full of ants. We should take a look at what's happening here. No rushing. Yeah, we're exploring. That means you're excited for the game. Honestly, when you just rush the main story, you know, like, that's it. You're done with the game. All right, easy. Actually, super easy. Uh, primary power source not available. Check. It's not plugged in. PC load letter. Okay. Seems pretty innocuous for now. <laughs> That's the most time I've ever spent transmogging. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Ooh, a laser. No, we just got a, a brand new awesome gun. Like, Raul's going to be kicking ass with that weapon, I think. Uh, this is vanilla. This is the first time I've ever played uh, New Vegas. So I am going... Missionary style. 
the doors on the other side. Hell yeah, brother! Yeah, Am I right? New Vegas! That's how they talk in this game, and I'm on board. Howdy! I should use some of these things. Really not a fan of how they changed the uh, health system with eating. So it's this overtime shit. The Basin Creek Building. Hello? I've been doing this longer than you, pal. Where are you? Ants? Okay, I'm Yeah, but it's only bugs. Rad roaches. Nothing super exciting. Hello? Surprised that these buildings so close to New Vegas are like this. You would expect all the uh, New Vegas buildings to be, or the surrounding area, to have been occupied yeah, yeah. in some form. Yeah, more fighting. Fighting. Yeah, I don't have much interest in playing Fallout 4. I've said that from the beginning. It's not exactly on my radar. Can we get up there? Can we use any sort of Super Mario? I can open the desk. Four bottle caps. Yeah, Baldur's Gate for sure, man. Yeah, Baldur's Gate, definitely. A lot of good times with Baldur's Gate. Uh, Alright, there's a big wall going in here. Uh, I don't really care for the gunplay focus. There's a, there, I, I'm actually amazed. I'll be totally... Looking as an outsider, right? So I, I guess I have a somewhat different perspective than people who played them when they came out and things like that. I had never played Fallout before, like, two weeks ago. Um... The radical difference between this and New Vegas is startling. Uh, between this and three is already startling. Hey, welcome aboard. Yeah, what's going on, guys? When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Time for more fighting. Okay, I'm... I'm surprised because I always th I always thought in my mind that this was basically like a big DLC pack for three, like essentially, like a more old school style of expansion pack. The West Pump Station. Oh, you ready to die? It was red coming in here. Yeah, I know it was made by a different company. It kind of felt to me like what they did with Miura. This feels like what they did with Miura's mask. Which is that they took something. <laughs> and made a whole brand new game off it. Some sort of data corruption has made the user interface illegible. The damage doesn't seem to go any deeper than that since the station is still online. Science 50. Repair the network connect- Oh my god, this is too real. Matt! 
Matt, we've got to repair the network connection. <laughs> Warning. Radiation has, no has been detected by the filtration system. No leaks are detected within this facility. Please investigate external causes. There is a real irony, for sure. Hard luck blues. And what were you murderous fucking maniacs up to? We need to get you playing D&D, &D. you would love it. Uh, actually, uh, Alex and Loz play a lot of D&D &D and get people around for parties and stuff. I believe Mr. Noble has literally flown over and uh, had games with them. And I've been offered to go. I should probably maybe do that. Excuse to get pissed anyway, even if I don't enjoy it. What is this? I bet Novel is a kick-ass DM. <laughs> and then the darkness came. Kill NCR, die NCR. Rude, honestly. Fuck the NCR. I've only ever played D&D &D once when I was a kid. It didn't go particularly well. The ruins of the old world. Oh, motel. Karen Field. Oh, we got a message from someone called McCarran, right? Yeah, Captain McCarran. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff here. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I'm surprised the motel seems to be boarded up. People! Howdy. Oh, a drug addict. Hi! Grim is a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Yeah? Hey there. Want some drugs? I'm setting her up. Not staying here. What are you doing, guys? <laughs> Premier in. <laughs> in two seconds, Lenny Henry's going to pop out from underneath one of these beds. What a great stay. This is, uh, this is pretty horrible. Even after the apocalypse. There are drug hideouts. Where are they getting the drugs from? How quickly after the apocalypse do you think people started making drugs? Hey. He might have been innocent, guys. You have to say freeze. I keep telling you guys, you have to say freeze. Alright? At least... Hey, in my mind, I always said freeze. Hands up, don't shoot. No. Don't be ridiculous. 
Uh, we're so close. We're so close. But we should check in here first. <laughs> Wow, this is a straight military camp. Would you take a look? Hello, friend! When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Apparently. More gambling, huh? Imagine a drug deal that was made in bottle caps just to carry a bag with thousands in. I am literally carrying nearly 13,000. And if there is a vendor here... Major Datry, what up, player? Nice beard. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. Big Blaze. It's good news. Salute Better you, sir. involve some dead fiends. I did, hippie. Yeah, I did see the side point got delayed again. Uh, well, I'm sad. I'm happy there's still a company forging forward, but it's ready when it's ready. 100%. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I would rather it come out when they're happy to release it. What do you know about the fiends? Back of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stim, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. Anime, I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Oh, I don't know. What exactly was their crime? Did they commit a crime, Major Dottery? Bounty Hunter, that's not my jam. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn Murderer? driver okay. iron. Hence his name. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs, too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? Uh, the rapist? One thing I should tell you about Cook Cook. Piece of shit is pure animal. He raped one of my snipers, and that makes this personal. Also, he's got a flamethrower, and he's damn good with it. From what I hear, he either rapes or burns every living thing he gets his hands on. Only one man's gotten close to killing him, and that's little Buster. So he says, anyway. Maybe it's bullshit, but I'd still ask him about it. Who's little Buster? <laughs> little, little Buster talks sounds... Big, but he's still alive, so he can't be completely full of shit. I think he's out in the yard waiting to claim a couple bounties. Okay. One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. Come on. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato. Sometimes the head doubting, comes off. I won't be authorized to pay the right? entire bounty. Good luck to you, and don't get careless. Uh... <laughs> Greedy is what that is. He just wants... He wants too many things. Uh, where is your shop? I bet it's in the airport. Hi, Braskell. How you doing, pal? I'm not looking for loot. I'm looking for the shop so I can barter. Do you have a Subway or a Burger King? Worst airport ever. Unbelievable. Only nuggies. <laughs> My mobile loves Valium. Hello to you, sir. How are you doing, friend? <clears throat> Wendy's? I've only ever eaten Wendy's once. Damn Americans. Think everybody has your stuff. We don't have your stuff. Something I can do for you? Yeah. I'm usually good with faces, but I don't think I've seen you here before. Well, Colonel! What brings you to Camp McCarran? I'm here to provide support. Is there anything I might be able to help with? Uh, I'm up for hire. How are things going with the NCR? Uh... Oh, at some point, we're probably going to get to go to Hoover Dam. Hmm. 
You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent, but I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office oh, is I right could do an interrogation. Mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a spy. It's showtime. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Okay. As in chem fiends. Biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions. It's going to be a while before them. we go into Vegas. But every day there's more of them <laughs> and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. Hell of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them. And they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. Fuck vegans. <laughs> 24 hours straight just to make it into Vegas. It does feel that way. I'll go that to Vault 3. Hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. Vegas sometime next home. week. Yeah, man. It'd mean for a lot. sure. Watch for civilians, too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw? You found Motor Runner. Ooh. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. Lots to do. You seem very calm. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. How are things? Could be better, I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. That's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. What? If anything, they want to they annex New us. Vegas? They rake in the profits from our soldiers and we're stuck protecting them from the Why? Legion. Why? Not exactly the plan. Oh, Moktas! Oh my god, thank you for $200? Jesus, dude, that is a lot of caps. Thank you. A long time for you, a long overdue birthday gift for your sons. Oh, okay, I will pass it on to the kids. Yeah, for sure. Keep up the great content. Also, Seer and Tome isn't useless. Uh, it was! They didn't make it useful. That's their decision, unfortunately. I wish it did something. I wish it did something. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. I'll make sure the kids get something nice. 100 nuggies. <laughs> Doogie, 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 doogie. Thank you very much, Mokta. Thank you, dude. Uh, okay, where does that leave you? Now we're trying to secure the strip and the dam at the same time, and it's costing us. Are you sad about and that, Nidhogg? In General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. Yeah, you're sad that there's no Nuggie spam. Hmm. I'm sad why. I'm not actually sure why it's off. I don't know if Chris changed something. Uh, I was switching it on and off when you got... In fact, I'm pretty sure it's off. Now I remember. Okay. It's off because you guys kept spamming Nuggies, 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 Nuggies all the time. So what I did is I switched it off. So that the stream wasn't Nuggies, 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 Nuggies over and over, and over again. All right? So there you go. Unfortunately, no. In fact, the word from the ranger station... You abused it! Concerning You're on timeout. Sounds like they've run All into right. overwhelming you resistance. You abused it. And supplies just aren't reaching them. 
It's been so bad, I asked Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn Hope to look into it. And see how it is that things could be so fouled Camp up Camp Forlorn Hope? <laughs> it's our main base. We took it because it lets us keep an eye on the Strip. And it had already been fortified before the Great War. From here, we handle most of the logistics for operations You're on time out. Troop allocation, supply distribution, intel. Usually, General Oliver runs the show here. But he's on his way to the dam now, so I've taken on a lot of his duties here. Okay. Everything was going according to President Campbell's plan at first. We met minor resistance from local They want to annex members, New Vegas. But our two main objectives are still contested. Mr. House controls the Strip, and he won't so much as meet with our ambassador. And we're holding Hoover Dam. But Caesar's Legion is positioning itself to overrun it. If it falls, so will New Vegas. We'd be forced to withdraw. Yeah, they have good intentions overall, but their... Their methods... I am uh, disagreeing. Are you a vendor? Angela! A little busy at the moment, but I can talk. So not busy then. This? The OSI lab. We don't get many visitors. Hmm. The smell puts people off, I think. Nobody ever said science would smell clean and fresh. Anyway, you get used to it if you give it some time. Are you a scientist? <laughs> I know, I don't sound the part. Get raised by Brahmin ranchers and you never lose the twang. Drives Hildren crazy. But I know every inch of the power grid from Hoover Dam to Shady Sands. Uh... That's what we do here. Try to she optimize the power this. output from the dam. So she's working Some of on the power. others are working on an agricultural project, but truth be told, they aren't making much progress. Not yet, anyway. You know what we've not heard about? Uh, what's like a funky chemist? We haven't heard anything about us reactivating power to all the settlements. Like, no one seems to have addressed the fact that we sent power to all of the, the settlement area. We did that, but no one's brought it up like, hey, we have power now, you know? Uh, Fucking Papa said it's three quid. What's up, pal? Um, oh, hey, Papa. It's the one you keep forgetting, but I forgive. Have you seen the date of my Legos? Yes, we did it all this morning. We did it all this morning. Uh, we looked through them. Because no one cares. <laughs> you don't understand, Mike. No one cares that they have power in their house and light. Uh, but yeah, check the beginning of the stream, Mr. Chemist, and you will see we went through all the Legos first thing this morning. I didn't tell them that the lights are on. I need to tell them that. Do you think they're all there with the switch off? And they're like, oh, oh, wow, amazing. Hmm. Right, what are you doing? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. Understood, Angela. Understood. You mean give you work? No, that'd be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there in his office. Between you and me, I don't think he ever It's leaves. on the bot, dude, yeah. Plenty of mercs go in to see him, though. It's a bit too early to make, like, a YouTube video for it, I think. I can't say. We're not supposed like, to talk about the research. There's only a couple of classes research. in there, and there's not a lot the of, details. you know, unfinished ones. If you're interested, I'm sure he'd see you. Okay. Hello. Are you jacking off? A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? What's wrong with your mouth, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Why is your bottom lip underneath your front lip? That's really hard. No, they wouldn't have briefed you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade anyway. Vault 22. Where to begin? Regale me. Regale me. I can't wait to see those lips flap. Hit me. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, 
requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? It sounds impossible. But nothing is impossible, is it, Tommy? Nothing. Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over, but how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. The bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock is it a its gek? secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Is it about a gek? Do you need a gek? <laughs> Does he need a gek? Everyone thinks the gek's going to change the world, man. The gek is useless. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, hey, good and go. progress is made. It's Ahoy, a matter sailor. of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Interesting. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. All right. I'm willing to check that out. That sounds weird. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. Whoa. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download I, I, all the information yes. on the central server to your pip boy, and you'll be certain to bring me write this any down. notes or samples room with that computers you find, in it. won't you? Server room. Okay. Right, can I interrogate someone now? Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? Yeah. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. You know it, Dennis. There were a lot you of need these notes. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keely. Keely? She's unusual. She's not Canadian. the sort of person you'd expect. Shouldn't say unusual. But she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Mm, nope. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. All right. Only because she's a mod of the Twitch channel. I had a good feeling about you. Right. The moment you walked in. I mean it. Okay. Now can I interrogate someone? You know what I mean? You can't leave the mods out there on their own. You gotta go out there. Okay, is this interrogation? Boyd's in there with a the prisoner right now. Boy, is she pissed. Maybe I could dress as a legionnaire? You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? You have an ass for a mouth. <laughs> Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. Right? But you know how colonels can be. I know. Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's Legion recently. I can't take that lip seriously. That's insane. It looks like an Instagram model. Like, it's driving me mad. No human being looks like that. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's Legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured They're so twitchy. They'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them But here's this guy who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up 
even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Why don't you just beat him senseless? What about a truth drug? Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. Why, but even if we did, you? I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. <clears throat> I have to ask all of these questions? Like, okay. Yes. And one time I thought I saw a tear when I told him his uniform was I don't want to ask these questions. You don't need to I mock me. I think he just got some dust in his eye. Jesus fucking Christ. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? I don't like Problem that. Problem is the last that the NCR option. frowns on using that sort of tactic. Good. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. Okay. I think if you rough him up enough and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Uh, I'm doing bad cut. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. You're an awful, awful person. I'm going to go in there, right? Silver Tongue Cav Cavalier. Lyrical Wordsmith. I got this. That's the spirit. <clears throat> okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. Oh, pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly... What is this? I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the... <laughs> you can't make it up! You actually can't make it up, man. It just works. It just works. Oh, my God. We are going to continue this tomorrow now, though. I did not alt F4 or anything. But we're, where did it even put us? Jesus Christ. We are going to keep to continue tomorrow because we have drama literally in an hour or so. What a cock block. When do you think it saved us? I think before we spoke to everybody. All right, saved us here. All right, let's do this bit. I really want to see how this goes. Okay, I was really worried when that happened that we were fucked and it was just gonna dick us. Oh, I have to go through all this crap. You stick out like a sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the fuck up. Okay. All right, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Long time no see, Silus. Let's listen to this awesome dialogue Lieutenant. again. Hey, Vinny, how you doing, pal? I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. Uh -huh. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to 
to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? This guy sounds like an a-hole. For a friend of mine you're about to meet, my friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Seelus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in, he's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. <laughs> and I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> in my head, I had planned, because I thought it'd be funny, that I was gonna walk in and shoot him right in the face. <laughs> right? That's what we got. Then we could reload it and I'll be fine. And she completely cooked my plan! I was sat here like, I was checking the that we had the right gun, that we had the right gun there. And I was like, okay, we'll walk straight in, we'll walk straight out, we'll just blow his fucking head off and see what happens. Completely cooked. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? Like you're confused. I'm with the excrement right now. <laughs> you must have some reason to be in your line of work. Tell me, what did the Legion do to you? Did we enslave your children? Slaughter your family before your eyes to teach you a lesson? Whatever it was, I hope I was there to give the order. Thinking about it, they didn't do anything. <laughs> they attacked me when I was walking. I think, that was, I think that's about it. <laughs> but against me personally, against me personally, they said, yeah, like, later on they sent assassins, like, later on, but initially... Foot soldiers of the Legion are trained not to have to think for themselves, to have conflict removed from their minds. They kill themselves to evade capture because they are not trusted to make such a decision rationally in the heat of battle. But I'm no foot soldier. I knew I could escape captivity on my own without revealing the tiniest iota of information to my captors. Sounds to me a little like you're too gutless to follow. Did somebody else call this Kazar before? I'm not going to beat him up yet. It is Caesar. Somebody else called him Caesar. But then I think one of the sentries called him Kazar. I'll show you gutless, you sniveling bastard. I'll spill your guts all over this room. Is something the matter, Silas? You look upset. Here, maybe you'd better step out for a moment. Had enough! You've upset him. No, easy there. You're supposed to rough him up a little, not kill him. Why don't you step outside a minute? Let off some steam. <laughs> nice job. I think my friend doesn't like you, Silas. I don't know how much longer I can keep him under control. You think this will make me talk? A beating? This is the best you can do? Not just any beating, Silus. A savage beating. A beating that you'll be reminded of every time you feel pain from now on. When my friend's done with you, you won't have any of your teeth left. You'll be drinking your food through a straw. Your ribs will never heal properly, and it will hurt every time you breathe. It'll be like your collars, Silus. Impossible to forget. She's supposed to be in there. The hell? Huh. Not the sort of wit I've come to expect from you, Silus. You're getting nothing from me. I'm getting entertainment. That's something. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna spill your guts to me? Or am I gonna let my friend the maniac back in here? <laughs> maniac. Time? Silus. Silent treatment, huh? Have it your way. Come on back in. I think he misses you. Oh, and let me check you for weapons one more time. For your safety as well as his. You hit like a bedridden old woman. Uh-huh. Attack! It'll take more than that to get me to talk, worm. Yeah, yeah. Time for more five minutes. Five minutes. Ah, oh, crit! What is this?
Why is he? Why did you leave him with all his armor on? Shouldn't he be like strapped to a chair? I've seen many interrogation movies. And it didn't involve like him having armor on and stuff. What is this? That's him. Okay, okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Beautiful. Had enough. Does this end? Uh. Yes, I've had enough. This <laughs> kick of four. <laughs> What's happening? All right, power punch. All right, give him the old ones and twos. Hey, what was that uh, takedown maneuver? Whoa! Do you remember that takedown maneuver? Back and punch. No, oh, it's not working. Come on! Oh, that one. I need you to stand near this glass. Okay. Oh, come back over. Uh. <laughs> that is so dumb. They don't. He doesn't follow. Please, God, let this be over. Come on. Enough. This is pointless. I'm dead to the Legion either way. I'll tell you what I know. But you should know that Kaisar has always kept his own counsel. Kaisar. He never reveals anything that would make him vulnerable. My knowledge will not prevent the inevitable. This camp will be ash within months. Maybe weeks. <sighs> Something is wrong with Kaisar. Something he is attempting to hide from his men. But it was obvious before we set out on this last mission. For three days, we awaited his order to dispatch us. Three days. But he hid in his tent, refusing to give orders, complaining of headaches. He looks different now than he used to. His face is sunken. Well, you got radiation poisoning. Sickly. But any questioning of his health enrages him. There is one other thing that may interest you. I know that Kaisar has planted a spy here. Every night, Details of NCR troop movements are broadcast from a radio on this base to Kaisar's camp. The spy has been here a long time, since before the entire conflict began. He's an officer. If I knew who he was, I would tell you. If I escape and he's alive to report it, the Legion would hunt me down. But like I said, none of this information will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. Oh, it's still just the Latin pronunciation. All right, cool. That was fun to watch. Was it? I'd have you do it I again, don't think so. Totally I've got trouble. a lot of people here who disagree with you, boy. This would do the NCR a lot of good, so you should be proud. Here's the standard fee. Plus, I threw in the price of a good show on the strip. That's from me, personally. You can beat up my prisoners anytime. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> hey, I thought it was pretty good. It was all right. <laughs> Not... It's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have been through all this. Ding dong, there it is. Uh, we need lockpick 100, that is happening. 
Lockpick 100. GIF. Uh, what does she get? The power of your personality inspires die-hard loyalty from your followers. When you drop below 50% health, your companions temporarily gain much greater resistance to damage. With Fortune Finder, you'll find considerably more bottle caps and containers you not ordinarily would. Gunslinger. While using a pistol or similar one-handed weapon, your accuracy in bats is increased. What was bloody mess? Oh, yeah, I like this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that was from the first one. That was cool. Do I have all my stuff? I saw it giving it, me, giving it back to me. Yeah, I do. I like that. Enemies explode. That's awesome. Right, let's stop there. Let's stop there. I have things to do before drama starts. Drama is starting in an hour, folks. Let's save there. On tomorrow's stream. The effort. To nearly get to Las Vegas. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, that is the plan. That is the plan. But in about an hour or so, a big drama will be starting. Uh, we will be continuing the Fallout at some point tomorrow. Ah, she said a thousand bits. Thank you. It's originally, originally pronounced Kaiser, but the English say Caesar. Interesting, very much. Uh, so we will have a Saturday stream at some point. It'll be down on Emmer. I will tweet out what time it is. We'll be at usual time. Uh, it will let us out. And one day, we will reach Vegas. Inch by inch. Side quest by side quest. We're definitely doing Vault 22 tomorrow. Uh, that's my priority tomorrow is Vault 22. I want to see what the plant thing's all about. And uh, see if we can rescue Keely. One of our wonderful Twitch mods from the horrors of Plantation, apparently. Alright. Be good. Gouda. 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 I try to say Gouda correctly. I'll see you in an hour or so, ladies and gentlemen. If not, have a great weekend. If I won't see you and you're doing something, be good. I will do my best. Bye-bye.